your ancestors, your angels, they're here right now, you know. Mm -hmm. They're they're pushing you to where you're supposed to go. We just have to listen, you know, and that's a part of secluding yourself. That's a part of breathing and, and just hear hearing, feeling, you know. Right. You know, we, we have to sit quiet and just, okay, what was I told today? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Lavish Journey Podcast. It's your host, Jay Gaines, in here today. I got two special guests in here today. We got my brother Calvin back in here. What's good, y'all? Back again. And we got my brother Freedom in here. Hey, thank you for having me, man. Thank you for having me. Hell yeah, I feel good today. Sorry I had to bang on the table a little bit, but I feel like it's going to be a great podcast. Yeah, that's an excitement, man. Yeah, you got <laughs> to that energy flow. Right. He about to bust <laughs> it out. Like, <laughs> that's man, what that is. For real, how y'all feeling today, man? Y'all tight? I'm blessed. Yeah. Man. Right. I'm blessed, honestly. Like I'm feeling good. This is a first for me and this is a new step for my journey. So awesome. it's always positivity when you're taking a new step into something. Mm. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> How you feeling, Calvin? Man, I'm feeling good. Mad grateful, man. I feel like man. this year is just a year of reaping. Mm hmm Like everything that you worked for. In your previous years, it's mm -hmm. gonna come forth this year. Oh, say that! Like I can, I can, I can just feel it, man. I can yeah. feel it. It's something Same. different. Same. Like when you face the most adversity, after adversity, it's right there. Mm. And trust me, I faced that more than you know for the first three months. Actually adjusting, mm -hmm. like I had the mindset to take over, but me just adjusting myself so I can get in the groove, it took so much. It takes a lot oh, to gosh. actually pursue something. Exactly. Yeah. Something that you want to do. It's like the, it's so many tests that come with it afterwards. Of course. So I'll say that when it comes to writing, I mm. just started writing my book and it's just finding the will to do it because sometimes you 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 know what you want to do, but to, the will to actually continue on. All right, today I did this. All right, I have to do it again the next day. Right. Working it like a job, right. like a yeah. nine to five. Yeah. You working nine to five because that's what you're taught. You just do it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's natural. But when you do something for yourself, sometimes it, it hinders or there's things that slow you down. Even right. with yourself, sometimes it, you slow yourself down or you distract yourself with other things. Like, oh, no, I'm going to kick it with them today. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, I'm going to smoke and I'm going to just chill out. You know, yeah. I ain't going to I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna sit down and write or uh, I, I just don't feel like it. You know, it's pushing yourself. So this is the year of, of fruitfulness. Yeah. You know, be fruitful with all of your dreams. Everybody watching out there, be mm. fruitful. Do what you want to do for yourself. Fruitful conversations. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah, real yeah. though. Like oh, yeah. this week alone, because I just want my journey of just becoming a self brand in a way. I mean, of course, the lavish journey I built that from being myself. But you know now. Jay Gaines, like how you said for you, freedom. Like yeah. that's, that's what I'm going by now. With Jay Gaines, it's just a self brand, and by me being consistent, dropping a vlog every single day for the past seven days, mm -hmm. I'm taking it like it is a job, you know? Because mm -hmm. it'd be times we be like, oh, we, we put our dreams aside all the time, like oh whatever, but we take our ass to work though. Yeah, we know. <laughs> we be like, like I gotta get this money. <laughs> but when it comes to your dreams, you be like, hmm. Well, I'm not feeling it today. It's always tomorrow, you know. And I'm just read trying to stay in this mindset i'm in right now it's just owning my dreams yeah. you know before society owns me and i ain't having that shit i ain't having that <laughs> fuck what they talking about it's I crazy because i just watched a video about mm. the systematic mind control that society puts you in when mm. you work that nine to five do you remember that video that you wanted me to show you um what you, you showed me so many bills bro <laughs> no about the um well to paint a little picture yeah you have the earth and then mm. it has a circle and then it has this guy mm. it has a computer has a bed and then has a shower the computers work the bed sleep the shower is him getting ready and that's all he does and it's just a oh, cycle, cycle. cycle. Yeah, yeah. a circle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then after that it has money and what it says on the money is I am your God and then on the next one it says purchase on one side and then when you flip it it says don't ask questions just buy mm. and another one it says don't think mm. You just do you don't have your own mind. Mm. And it's the funny part about it is it's so illuminating because it's black and white. Mm. So the picture actually looks like mind control. Yeah. You know how they say there's a lot of gray areas? Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Yeah. Mm. And, oh, I got to show y'all afterwards. Yeah, yeah, you got to yeah, show yeah, that yeah. right now yeah. enough because <laughs> I need to see that. That was real. Wow. 
Actually, that is how society works at, yeah. at, its, at its best anyway, yeah. because you're just told everything what to do. You're no, yeah, we it, told to the point that mm-hmm. that's why a lot of people be like, a lot because one time I'll say, yeah, I'm trying to find myself. Somebody's like, how you trying to find yourself? You already have yourself. I'm like, yeah, listen, man. It's like you have to unlearn all that shit that you're taught, though. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what you said, unlearn. You yeah. got to unlearn it. It's like you, we've been domesticated. No, oh, yeah. And I'm glad I'm aware of it, though. I'm not somebody complaining about it. I'm, I'm blessed that I'm even aware of this. You yeah. know what I mean? A lot of people out right. here are not aware of it. And that's what yeah. waking, being woke is. Not this oh, false advertisement. Not this false ass advertisement of being woke. Like, I don't even know what that woke is. Like, because everybody, oh, you woke. And I'm like, well, do you know what woke is? It, most people don't know what woke means. Can yeah. y'all tell me what woke means? <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> being woke is understanding the flaws within society, within yourself, within your family, the things that hinder you, the things that have kept you domesticated as a cat you know yes sir there are things that it's fear-based i'll say Mm -hmm. fear-based in a sense because fear keeps you from doing many great things fear will keep you from going outside even though it's a sunny day you see people outside but if your mom says you know there's danger out there Mm -hmm. as a part of like the fear of it that is the fear of it that's the control you know but where did she learn that from because her mom and society has all said this is fear it's just a constant cycle of things Mm -hmm. that dictate you from expressing yourself from being yourself that's why i call myself freedom because i want to be free in every venture that i dive into Mm. you know and i, I want to see people do that you know be free if you want to be butt naked running in the woods be butt naked running in the woods you feel me like <laughs> do what you do you know I, ahead, I can't y'all. judge you we are all different beings yeah that's true yeah, be, yeah. being woke is understanding that you are an individual and a god in your own sense in your own right in your own light mm. you know being woke is seeing that everything around you isn't what it is you awareness. feel me? The awareness of it. Awareness. The music you hear. You know, sex, money, drugs. That's all you hear. Sex, Ooh. money, drugs. Sex, money, drugs. That's how. You know, that's, that's how they get a lot of people. That that's music. They, that music. music. Yeah, that is how they get. A lot psychologically, get stuff. Yes. You're like, whoa. We just yeah. don't peep oh it though. Gosh. We don't peep it. Yep. So becoming awake and being woke yep. is seeing the damage that is placed on us, especially blacks. You know, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. You feel me? And black is. Latinos, Puerto Ricans, Asians, we're, they're y'all black too, if y'all watching, just so y'all know. Y'all black too. That's dope. That's dope. But we're, when you wake up, you see the flaws and you see like, this isn't life. Mm-hmm. My my time isn't worth a dollar bill, a penny, a quarter. Mm-hmm. None of the shit that y'all doing, you feel me? It's mm-hmm. like, it's worth more than that. Accomplish your dreams. Find out who you are, what mm-hmm. you're destined to be, what the universe has conspired to put you here for because you're you're... I can't even explain how great you are yeah, out there. Yeah, so it's unlimited, bro. Yeah. What What do you have to say to those people that don't want to join the One Percenters Club? Because mm-hmm. the people that are willing to chase their dreams and they're willing to sacrifice time, mm-hmm. hanging out with friends, sac- mm-hmm. and hanging out with family, what will we say to them? Because mm-hmm. chasing your dream, it's hard. Oh, it's very. Hell because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, you, you oh can chase God. your dream mm-hmm. for twenty years and it may not happen. Mm-hmm. But what is better, the if I did, or at least I tried? At least I tried. At least I did it. Yeah. But they both hurt. Yeah, they both. Because it's a possibility that yeah. it will never happen. Yeah. I think, I, I ha- personally, I have fun by just chasing them, being mm-hmm. able to know that I could chase them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even if I don't make it, no, and I will, if I don't, though. I still like, hey, it was a hell of a ride. It you was, know, what you mean? was riding it. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's why it's important to do something mm-hmm. that you love. Love, mm-hmm. yeah. Because if you're not doing something you love, it's like it's it's like it's forcing yourself to get up. But when you're doing something you love, it's a pull. Like mm-hmm. You can't help it. Mm-hmm. Just like like a lot of I see a lot of um like rappers and stuff. Right. That's the first thing that came to mind. They love what they do, but it becomes work after a period of time. Yeah. You know, because the press conferences, you got to go here and do this. Like, you can't just chill. Like, That's you know, right. my baby want to kick it with me. I'm just going to kick it with my baby today. You feel me? You being a parent as well. So if you're a rapper or whatever, an artist, you know, to me, understand if you're doing what you love, it's not going to be a job. Mm-hmm. You're just going to do it. and you're just going to become fruitful. You're just going to get money rolling in. You're going to get the people who support you rolling mm-hmm. in. Everything's mm-hmm. just going to flow to where you can just exist and live, you know, not work it. You know, yeah, some, you do have to work 
you know, yeah, work it as a job yeah. at first we to can. get to that yeah. point. But don't just make it a job. Make it something you love. So you just, when you do it, and you at them press conferences, you love because hey. you, you want to be at the <laughs> press conference. Like, what up, you all my fans? You feel me? You want to make sure it's, it's grand in all of his ventures, not just the 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 creating part, but the right. everything else that comes with it, you know. So mm. I mean, mm. rappers, they're stingy. They are. They're so stingy. The life is around material things. Materials. And the yeah. one the one rapper that I do respect is Kevin Gates. Oh yeah. He openly and willingly said the material thing is the highest insecurities. Yeah, he's real though. On a song. A, a lot of a lot of sorry, main sorry y'all. I, I know a lot of artists. A lot of mainstream artists ain't real though. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They not real at all. And I think I think that comes with also getting tired because these rappers come into the game mm-hmm. and they're this distinguished individual, but once they get a part of that culture it transforms them into what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. they're different. Like mm-hmm. Little Wayne was, Little Wayne was nothing of what he's like now when he first started. <laughs> you yeah. show Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, yeah. Like, hey. You show Wayne. He looks horrible. Yeah. I fix that. Y'all go ahead. Y'all keep going. Like I, I saw this um this video, and before Little Wayne even got on to rapping, mm-hmm. it took it took away all the tattoos. Hmm. They took away the yellow in his eyes from the drugs. They took away the raspiness in his voice. And you actually could see Lil Wayne for the hmm. Lil Wayne that we know. Not the Lil Wayne that changed Lil Wayne into the rapper he is now. Hmm. The person that looked like he gonna fall asleep every time he do a music video. Yeah. He just looks terrible. It's not. I love Lil Wayne, man. But you know, it hasn't been looking good for the last five years, to be honest. Man mm-hmm. kept having those seizures back to back to back. And yeah. I was like, it's that lean. You barely can understand But it. you know, he grew up into Hollywood, though. A lot yeah. of people... They got there in their twenties. Lil Wayne was he 13, 12 years old in yeah. Hollywood? Oh my gosh, he came yeah. into the game early. Early, so therefore yeah. he doesn't even know a normal life at all. At all. Yeah, but his sense of awareness, oh, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Like being a tenacious individual is not easy in this world. And That's I think, a good word. I, that, yeah, I know. He <laughs> 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 hit me with that. I think I think rappers, rappers and celebrities go through the test of trial. Hold on. I'm sorry, can you go back? What does tenacious mean? I'm sorry. Enlighten me on Being that. Be firm in who you are. Okay, all Standing right, all by right. what you believe mm-hmm. and who you are as an individual. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you you will know you're a tenacious individual when you can go to a party mm-hmm. or you can go to conferences or you can go places where people will apply pressure. Mm-hmm. Because in conferences, you can have a conference that's put together to collaborate and develop one idea, mm-hmm. but that doesn't mean that they won't pressure you into the idea that they want you to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They do it all the time. All the time. Yeah, I actually somebody tried that to me in a, in a conference. Yeah. Hey, do this, do this. You're the one for it, dude. I was like, bro, yeah. get out of here. How much it costs? Well, <laughs> there is a fee. All right, don't talk to me then. <laughs> he, he was that car salesman. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come Wish on, come on. Get it. They pressure you because they know pressure. It breaks a lot of people. Oh, it does. It, it well, just, yeah. it is, huh? Like, yeah. man, you can't fold under pressure. I'll be telling people, you can't. It's easy you, to get, You cannot. <laughs> it's it so is. easy to get. It is. I mean, growing up, of course, we all had experience of folding underneath pressure, but as you get older, you can't do that shit no more, or you'll okay. get fucked over big time. You just have to be strong with, your, with who you are, mm-hmm. you know? Like you said, being tenacious. Understand who you are. Yeah. So then when... The outside noise reaches your gates. Mm-hmm. It won't easily influence you to just be right. like, become a yes man at that point. Like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You know, you have to know what you want to do. Because if your vision is like this, but then you hear everybody else's vision, your vision can get lost easily. So own your vision pretty uh, much. Own your yeah. vision own 100%. It. And you, you know, stand, stand strong and stand firm. But mm-hmm. that's something we don't really get, especially as people, you know, mm-hmm. especially when we're always told how to think and what to do. So it's kind of mm-hmm. hard to stand strong within yourself. You have to build yourself up and build your character mm-hmm. so you can understand, all right, I can't fold. I won't fold. Yeah, you won't. Under, there you yeah, go. You I won't, won't fold yeah. up under all it, it's of this. A, it's a difficult journey, though, man, on that, you know, because yeah. you got to really have some, like one of those topics you was talking about, mental toughness. Mental like, toughness. You need the spirituality, everything, but you need to have mental <laughs> toughness. But... Hey, I feel like it's, people are becoming a lot more aware of it, though. Oh, very much so. And I love that. It's just some fact very that people, even they're at a, at a you know, different stage than where we are. Wherever, I'm just glad that people, in period, are becoming aware of just being aware. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 
You see it yeah. in all age groups too, because yeah. I go to the gym every day now, and so it always shocks me when I hear older generations talking about the flaws mm-hmm. within things or the problems that they see in society, especially when they're fifty, mid thirties, forties, etc. And they're they're telling me like, yeah, this just is. We're not supposed to be living like this. I'm tired of going about life like this. Yeah. This damn government, you know. You see the revolution changing, like it's happening. 100%. The awareness is. It's branching out, you know, within mm-hmm. all spectrums, not just ours. Because I say millennials, we see the shit. Oh, we, uh, see we, it. we see the shit. We grew into it. We see it. Yeah, <laughs> we. It, but it it'll take a certain type of enlightenment from our parents to say something. You get, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah like, because yeah. if your mom say, "Yeah, this is a problem," let's fix this. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. it's that teamwork. Yeah. It's like we're doing it. It's not just me. The pressure isn't just on me anymore. It's a a, uh, we're united mm-hmm. and let's all stand together and change some things. So, yeah. Mm. That's well explained, man. That was well explained. I don't know how to respond back to that one. Y'all, <laughs> <laughs> hey, <what's up>? uh, <laughs> with the awareness, the one thing I will say Broke about down. becoming aware of who you are that comes with isolation. Oh, yeah. And everybody has this itch and this addiction of going out into the world and being around people mm-hmm. but when you're so focused on being around people you don't even know who you are so you you literally are suspect to anything around you anything mm-hmm. in your surroundings mm-hmm. like yeah you're 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 an illuminating picture of who you hang around but imagine all these people going to these parties and hanging out and drinking and hanging around all these people but they don't know who they, who they are yeah mm-hmm. so imagine what it'll be like going home You've been around all this different energy and it's just molding to you and to this person that you're not even aware of. That's many of the people that's like. Mm. I went through the a year of isolation. That's what's up. Today, Actually, I got yeah. you on that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. To that's dedicate what's up. myself to finding out who I really was, I went through a year of isolation. Yeah. And I really had to limit myself on who I hung out with. Yeah. And I lost friends. I lost so many friends in the year 2018. I lost a lot of friends. You didn't lose them. You gained. Yeah. 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 Loss is gain. Yeah. yeah. It is. But you got to look at it the right way. I had to go through that as well. Having a... I can, uh, I can definitely say I lost to gain. Because I thought I didn't have any friends in a sense. Because I mm-hmm. wasn't talking to Justin, Austin, Hassan. Many of my friends who I'm around now, mm-hmm. I just felt secluded, you know. But it was that season for me to find who I was. Because mm-hmm. that was the deepest I went in meditation, within finding myself, within my spiritual journey. But it takes that you have to cultivate yourself. So you can you got to plant that seed and water it. You are that seed and you are watering yourself, but make sure you continue to water it, you know, get that sunlight. You got to just seclude yourself. You have to drain, allow yourself to be drained, you know, to clear all the extra energies off of you. Because if you don't do that, you're always going to want to be like other people. Mm -hmm. You're always going to have so much of me. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling him, you know, I'm feeling his energy. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling yours. Just like Sage and you have to cleanse yourself. You need your alone time. And I think as... As a society, yeah, yeah. we lose that. You know, it's always, what's the kick it? Where are we going? You know, we need somebody. So, yeah, need somebody. Yeah. Social media, yeah. love. Yeah. Instead of just saying, I love myself enough to seclude myself. Self love. Self love. You know, as 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 beings, as human beings, you know, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of courage to do that. Because you can lose your, you feel like you can lose your mind to just Man. be by yourself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Just> be, like, <laughs> <laughs> That's how it was to be in Toledo. You go ahead, bro. But, nah, just yeah. being able to control your thoughts. Yo, mm-hmm. like, do you know how mm-hmm. long it took me to literally master my thoughts mm-hmm. and be able to control what you think about? Especially when you're just dealing with that person that just irritates you oh, and disrupts your spirit. I cut, I cut people off. I cut motherfuckers <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all, y'all, y'all. You have to. Yeah. yeah. Once it's bad energy. You have to. Yeah. Because with spirituality comes awareness. Mm-hmm. But if you have that person that's disrupting that, you lose your focus. Yeah. Big time. And when you that's lose true. your focus, you'll gravitate towards anything. 
And that's a that's something for relationships. Everybody in relationships understand that. You feel me? Because that's a big problem with people. It's relationships, honestly, because we're so keen on loving somebody else when you don't even love yourself. Mm. You can't. You can never love somebody else until you learn to love yourself. What you say? Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> you can never love somebody else until you learn to love yourself. You can love someone like yeah, I have a child. You feel yeah, me? It's, yeah, yeah. it's a natural love. It's natural. Mm -hmm. But to be in a relationship outside, to be outside of your bloodline, right? It it takes a different level of being to be like I truly love you, and I love you because I love myself. Mm -hmm. You know, we complement each other. We influence each other. We build each other up. It's more than just arguing every day. It's more than just the sex, mm -hmm. getting some butt. You feel me? People confuse love with sex. Lust. I love Lust. Lust. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was about to say that. Lust. Yeah. Hey, I got a question for you then, bro. Do you know anything about twin flames? Yeah. So what's your Ooh. outlook on that? <laughs> okay, so the girl who I went to New York with, twin Ooh. flame. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so. That's so important. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah. I'm curious. So I don't know too much about it. Twin flames, they are... <laughs> <laughs> so notes. I was the feminine energy. She okay. was the masculine energy. The feminine energy is the leader. Um, she being the masculine, she can create. So if I set my sights onto something, she can literally manifest it. Mm, okay. She manifests it to become that reality. Because mm. that's what in New York happened. Right. But what was lost in translation was just me not knowing myself. Mm -hmm. You know? jumping in shit way too early mm -hmm. and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. It was just a leap of faith, right leap of faith, right, but yeah. not knowing what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But um, twin flames, you are that other person's flame. So think as you come into earth, it's both of you all. Mm -hmm. Y'all split and become two people. Mm -hmm. I am here, she is she, mm -hmm. you feel me? But together we're a representation of God's love. Oh, wow. You know, together, real. you feel me? A twin flame energy, a twin flame relationship is something that is represented through God. You know, he, he, she, she, he, I'm going I'm to start giving y'all women, mm -hmm. our woman, that power back. You mm -hmm. know, we got to give, we got to speak light into women. You all have mega powers. Shout out to y'all. But she, he um, has broken off and. We are here to help inspire. We're here to love, mm -hmm. honestly. We're here to f honestly find each other once again mm -hmm. because your energies are always going to attract. Right. Yep. You know, it might take a long time. Don't give up on love because I know a lot of people give up on it er way too early. I see early. a lot on social it's a media. Risk. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's a, risk, a risk, but it takes that time. You know, finding finding the right person. It first off, that shouldn't be your main focus. Like if you're if you're find focused yourself, on something, yeah, find yourself you know? and that'll come to you. They don't want to hear that though. They don't. <laughs> they don't want to they they hear don't. find yourself. They don't. They, no, 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 no I get somebody else. No, yeah, bro, yeah, find yeah. yourself. Find yourself. The only thing dangerous I find about a twin flame. What's up, bro? Is the colliding. Yeah. When you collide, if you don't know who you are and you don't Ooh. know what you're looking oh, for, shit. Mm -hmm. do you do you understand the amount of energy you're welcoming? And how that can destroy your perception of you, not them. Mm -hmm. When that twin flame comes together, you have to make sure you understand that individual from the ground up. Mm. 100%. And even going from the ground up is dangerous because when you're talking to an individual, okay, when you build a house, you start from the foundation of the house and you go to the top. Mm -hmm. But when you buy a house, you look in the attic, you don't go to the basement. You want to see what the top looks like. Mm-hmm. Because when you, of course, when you walk in, the display is going to look nice. Mm -hmm. Every display looks nice. But when you go to the top of the house, that's when you start finding the issues, the leaks, yeah, yeah. the shortage, all of it. It's the same thing. It's the same thing with dating females, and it's the same thing with dating males. Yeah, you're being exposed. Yeah, don't mm -hmm. start. Don't start at the foundation of them. See what's in the attic. Mm -hmm. Because if the attic is empty, you're dating. You're dating a hollow skeleton, literally. Now, can you put this in more different terms? I give you comfort th with that. No, I understand, though, bro, but okay. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to, you know, really understand a little bit more, though. I don't want to be... I'm be real. Gonna, no, I'm no. I'm not going to put the stamp on people's forehead, but this is going to sound real stereotypical. Nowadays, a lot of individuals mm -hmm. don't look at what they see mentally. They look at what they see physically. Mm -hmm. And that's where the problem comes in. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. That's true. 
my first when you ask somebody what's the first thing that attracts you to somebody they say oh his body was crazy mm-hmm. me my first what? response what's up how am i gonna feel when i walk up to you mm-hmm. that energy that aura yeah how what's your first impression yeah when you talk to me or when i come up to a woman and i say hey how you doing mm-hmm. i pay attention to how they respond yeah because their response will tell you everything everything mm-hmm. If a girl says, man, what you want? That is damaged goods. Some guys yeah. like that. They're like, what? Well, I'm still trying to get her. He damaged, <laughs> yeah. he damaged himself. Oh, yeah. that's true. You that's feel true. Me? You going for some damage, you damaged yourself. You and it's dangerous man. because mm-hmm. nowadays in society, the physical world is more important than the, than the intangible world. Mm. That's why everybody's going through this. Yeah. Do this. I don't know. I can't. I can't even put a, a, Everybody, a title on it. A lot of people are mindless. They're mm-hmm. not mindful of anything. Mm-hmm. Like people's conscious mind, it's just it just goes in a circle. Mm-hmm. They because of material say, things or what? Huh? Because you think because of materialistic things. Well, yeah. That's true. they're creating <laughs> the way society is now. What what you would call a tradition? They're creating a culture around it. Mm-hmm. Like the Jordans, the Levi's, mm-hmm. all the clothes. Oh, that's a culture now. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. They, they, it was a tradition, mm-hmm. but now the trends become a culture, mm-hmm. and the cultures become a system, and the systems become mind control because that's all they know now. Even with relationships, all they know is physical, physical, physical. Mm-hmm. They don't understand mental and spiritual, yeah. or spiritual. Yeah, yeah. Don't even get me started on spiritual. No, that's the whole topic. Hey, I thought y'all wanted to talk about that. <laughs> Men discussing spirituality. We have we, to. we will, <laughs> but the physical you got to get past the physical part before uh-huh. you can even get to the spiritual. Oh part. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when you take away what's in between a woman's legs, what does she have? Yeah, where where do where do you value her at? Yeah, that's real. Besides, that's real. Cause that taught me a lot in a relationship. Once we start having sex. I got to see what the fuck I what was you, with. What you gonna get? <laughs> I, I was like, oh, <laughs> this is who I'm with. <laughs> like, huh? Yeah, yeah, cause sex can blind you. You oh, feel yeah, me? Yeah, good, yeah, good yeah. butt. And women, y'all know y'all got some good. They know that. And they still <laughs> lean on it. Yeah, you know? Yeah. They argue, and when they argue, they have sex and they forget about it and shove it under the rug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they bust it down and you cool because you yeah. you the butt. You, hey, you we cool. Right. We straight now. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You smoke you hit that blood, you want to hit that blood, yeah, what's good? Hey, that was good. It. Yeah, where you're right, you're right. Where are your values? Yeah. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> where, they, where are they? I had to learn that. We all did, bro. Like, Still learning to this day. Is the physical man. world that blinding? I guess so. Get it, it oh, is, man. man. I ain't going to lie. Like, a lot of people don't even understand that. Yeah. Twin flame. That's going to be in the uh, intro, That's That's yeah. missed. I can't even say how bad that's missed. Twin flame is like in the Bible when mm. the two when two flesh become one. Really? That's what, that's what it, that's literally. I never knew that. That's literally what a twin flame is. Mm. It's that's different. It's two people coming together mm. as two different individuals, but when you become married, you become one. Right, mm. right, right. Because your spirit has to be aligned. You have to be on the same track. Mm-hmm. And for darn sure, your morals need to be somewhat the same. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, because yeah. if you're dating someone with a different set of values and core values, guess what? It's over before it even started. It sure is. That's what every relationship. And true. a lot of people today do not have core values. No. And that's what's dangerous about the twin flame. Yeah. Mm, so that's what it, I never knew what that was. I just read it in a book before, but I never actually, you know, studied it. So yeah, the, the value. Flame. Yeah. The source of value that the twin flame brings to the table, mm. it's insurmountable. But if you don't understand the value that your significant other brings, it can kill you. Mm. Yeah, because that's what happened with mine. We fell out because I didn't yeah. have a sense of self. I was still, I was very selfish thinking mm. instead of selfless thinking, you know. I didn't appreciate her values, what she was bringing to the table, mm. and vice versa. We were still yes. I young minded. I thought I was about to say that. Okay. You know, we were yes. still young minded, meeting up at a point that I know it will probably happen again. Mm. You know, especially if we're true blue twin flames, it's going to. If it's true, like, yeah, you yeah, know, if it's real. It's yeah, gonna yeah, have. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna yeah. have to. Yep. You know, it's no control out of that. Um, but you have to. It, it's a. It's a process with yourself. Mm-hmm. You know that you have to go through before aligning with your twin flame and making a. An impact you know and actually making a, a grand impact because 
I could be at this level. And if you're here and we're supposed to be twin planes, you got to be up here with me. You right, feel right, me? Like, right. come on, baby, we got to we got to be on this train together. Get it, get I can't it. I can't ride this so wave and you you still, you know, getting on your board, mm-hmm. you know. So it just takes a level of self, you know, and focus. So then both of y'all, when y'all link, nothing can stop you. And, you know, that's yeah. why I feel like love is something. It, it's already there especially in this lifetime but yeah. it can't be just the main focus so early y'all not, not this early thank you for saying that i was just talking about that yesterday yeah. i mean love is like i said it's always there sorry about it started yelling loud as fucking advice mm-hmm. but that's so true though <laughs> I, I really i'll be telling people it's already there people are like because i guess the way i i live people was like oh yeah yeah the way you live just used to be traveling around and stuff you know what i mean like what well, if you end up by yourself? I'm like, bro, love is always there. Love is there. Always there. That's my last worry. <laughs> That's like, the last worry. <laughs> it's there. People always say that to me growing up up to now. I'm like, man, look, it's there. Yeah. See, I'm not insecure about my life and what's there waiting for me. I'm not trying to say, you know, at the end of the day, I don't try to plan too far for the future because you don't know when life is going to end. And that's just real. Right. But overall, though, what's there is what's there. What's meant to be will be. And nothing mm-hmm. in the world can stop it because the world is giving it to you, man. Yeah. And, yeah, I'm just glad you said that shit. Yeah, that, that's I, I, mean, I was just fan, saying that you? last night. And I, I think a lot of it, too, is mm-hmm. social media because oh, we have shit. a false representation on what we think love is supposed to look like, be like, feel like, yeah. and act like. Instead of just letting it be authentic, you know, that's like, the Ruby's cube of, of relationships. Yeah, social media. Social media. It's a Ruby's cube for them. It teaches you. It teaches media. you. Like social media, it's bad. I I did some research on pictures and the statistics about pictures. More than seventy five percent of individuals that take a picture on Instagram can only look at themselves for seven seconds before changing the filter to make it look like what they want it to look like instead of what it should be. Oh, that's doing too much. I, I know it's, what you mean, though. I know, I know. It's, I'm not, saying. it's not doing too much. I just post the motherfucker. That's how I mean. It's not, <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's, it's not doing too much uh-huh. because if you're not comfortable with what you look like, you're going to want to make it look the best that it can look. But they still look that way, though. Like, you know, yeah, you ever meet somebody, you ever meet somebody on, on social media, you see them in person, you be like, what That's the a whole fuck? different motherfucker. Yeah, you lied person. to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, false advertising. <laughs> awesome <laughs> shit. <Yeah>. <laughs> That's and why, we, what's up? No, nah, go ahead, go ahead. That's why when it comes to social media stuff, I don't let it fool me no more. I used to let it fool me. I ain't gonna lie. I actually just got to trap up social media. I know I'm on there a lot. That's how, that's how I do this. Yeah. And because I, I decided to put my own message out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right to me yeah. seeing those other BS messages. I was like, you know what? Let me get my own message out there. Instead of me complaining, let me use it for the good. Mm. But I do notice that stuff you're talking about every day. Yeah. You're working the system, though. I'm, yeah, you're working the system. I'm working the system. Yeah, I like that. You know Everybody's what? Everybody's gullible, though. I'm gonna hold on to that. What's that? Everybody's gullible. They oh, believe what they see. That's yeah. true. Like, hmm. Oh, oh! Like you can post a random fact, a random thing up there and say it's a fact. <laughs> hey, do you know that whales? It'd be some crazy whales walked once upon a time. Once upon a time, really? <laughs> and people go repost it. And, yeah, it. Due, due to this. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing you know, a Wikipedia page has been formed. <laughs> oh my gosh! So hell. So when y'all, when people say they know knowledge and history, right? Because I've talked to a lot of people. They talk about history, knowledge, and all this stuff, and they always say, "I learned it from Google." Now, I believe some stuff out there is valid, but do you believe that the history is really documented? The oh real history? Do you ever believe that? Because so, people can just throw articles out there. Oof, you, you have to be knowledgeable about history. Mm-hmm. Because, and I'm going to use something that, that's a very difficult topic, but can you believe everything you read up on religion? No. Because I can't. if, if I'm you. Be real. I, I've had this. I've had to test some individuals at my job because this lady, and I'm choosing this for an example, mm-hmm. but this lady was saying she's curious, and I said, "What are you curious about?" She said, "What religion is right?" I said, "Well, what religion do you study?" You know her response was, "What?" She gave me four different ones. I said, "Well, since you're knowledgeable about all four of them, go off of your music. What are you listening to?" Mm. She gave every single artist that was Christian, mm. but she still didn't know what she believed. Mm. So, she with your history. If you're not educated, you best stay away from it and find somebody who is because nowadays men will take history and conform it to what they want it to be mm-hmm. and not That's for what, what it is. Yeah. You like think- how this world is racial. It's a racial fight now. Sure, yeah. It's not 
becoming united, like he said, it's a racial fight. It's black this, white this, black this, white this. And that's the trade. They're keeping it separated. We just built off that, though. Unfortunately, we in were. America. We had here, in, America, in America. We just built off that. We were built I'm off personally that not here. like that, mm-hmm. but I fight assets going to always be like that here. Uh, until we die, to be honest. I, I mean, I, per, me personally, I, you know, I, I, I'm a nurse. I was a nursing major, so I deal with yeah, different different yeah. Mexicans, Asians, you yeah. know, white people, every child people. I'm all diversity, but as a whole, America. You're going to deal with that till you die. You're going to deal with that till you die. Yeah. Let's just be real. <laughs> I, I know I want to have this positive, like, oh, no, we're a, not. Yeah, yeah, we are. That's just accepting it. Yeah, I have, to, I have to accept it. Yeah. Get the help. I'm going to move out the country, go somewhere else. But, I'm about but to honestly, that's it. what it, I feel like it might take that. Because it's in America. Mm-hmm. You think other countries oh. love black people. They do. Pe- people told me they went to Europe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They love black they people do. in mm-hmm. Europe. You go to Pakistan, they love black uh-huh. people because it's... We're fine wine in, in other countries. That's how it was. I'd have been know. in five countries, and they always showed us love. Like, gave us, brought us free food. We gave so us de- tours. Dude, we're so I'm like, demented huh. here. It's ridiculous. What will you say? We're so demented here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 um like now it's just like whites are put on this pedestal. They don't even put themselves on. We put them on this pedestal. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the bad part about it. Like, I can agree. are we as a human race going to be two spotlights or are we going to become a beacon at some point? Beacon. That's the goal. But right now, we're so many different spotlights, it's ridiculous. That's why we mm. can't become united. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing with the twin flame. Your goal is to be a beacon, not two different spotlights. Yeah, mm. you got to join up. So, And that's a part of, that's the problem with our history as well. I was about to talk about that. Go ahead, bro. Because like mm-hmm. you said, uh, one... Our history is never given to us, mm-hmm. especially uh, black people's history. Mm-hmm. We, When you're in school, who do you read about? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. Mm-hmm. That's off rip. You know, you don't hear about the true blacks. You don't hear about the Moors. Most people don't even know who the Moors are. Some guy tried to school me while I was doing Uber about the Moors. He's, he's like, bro, you look it up, man. Wake up. That's why he kept on trying to tell me. I was look like, whatever, up. whatever. You know, I looked it up mm-hmm. a little bit. But it's, it's a black series. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's going to hit me in a minute. But... It tells us how we were the kings and queens before mm-hmm. whites, you know, how we were the richest. The mm-hmm. Moors were the richest. They were the kings. Mm-hmm. And they went around giving money to everybody. Oh, just showing love. They, I didn't know the facts behind it, but I knew about it. Yeah. That part of it. They helped establish societies um, because he he just had that much wealth. He made sure every or the family mm-hmm. made sure that everybody was eaten, you mm-hmm. know, just like most black people. Black people, we get along with everybody. We do, you know. Right? Unless it's some yeah. issue or some yeah. tension, we, we get do. along with everybody. We do. <laughs> I want to see you cool and eating. You know, I don't want to see you out here starving, right, especially right. if I know I can take care of you. Even if I don't know, yeah. you, we just get hey, just hit something, bro. Right, you feel right. me? We I we agree. naturally do that. Black or whites don't. Yeah. You know, they're very uh uh-uh, uh. This mine. You know, mm. nowadays there's not many blacks like that, but right. that's how we were. We come from royalty and we feed all. We fed the white people. We gave them hidden knowledge that was our knowledge mm-hmm. and they used it against us because they were the ones eating out of chicken coops, sleeping with the dogs and the pigs and all that crap. And we helped them and we gave them a sense of living and how to live. And then they twisted it because mm-hmm. we gave them too much knowledge. Wow. It's a part of it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a lot. I'm going to think of the series. It's, it's a, Mm. It's a, I can't think of the name of it, that's but like, yeah, that's not like what they did to Native Americans too, bro. You know we are Native American. Okay, I, I keep everything you said. <laughs> I, I heard within the last two weeks. <laughs> that's, that's your origin. Yeah. Word. Can y'all that's break? Can y'all origin. break this down to me and to the people that's listening, that's watching? Well, it's, you can go as far back as tribes. Mm-hmm. Your tribes are where you originated from. Everybody in this room is from a specific tribe of mm-hmm. origin. Wow. Tribes. Cherokee. Okay. You know how they say whites created religion? Yeah, yeah, I hear that. Tribes had their own culture before whites even existed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I the, know that too, the, yeah. We're the dominant race. Mm-hmm. It's just whites, and I'm, I'm going to go by what they say, whites invaded us. Yeah. And the funny part about it is whites dumbed us down and said we had to worship them. That's why there's an argument between a white and black Jesus, and it's bad how they took spirituality and made it black and white. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's where it started. Yeah, I agree. Because the pilgrim and the um the pyramid mm-hmm. that wasn't built by whites. Whites oh, we know are that. not yeah. whites aren't as intuitive 
No. When you look when you look on Facebook and you see all these videos, they're of Indians building weight rooms and swimming pools mm -hmm. based off of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when you look back in history and you see this black and white battle, you realize blacks aren't trying to convince whites that they're more dominant, but the whites are still trying to enslave you to think you aren't dominant. Mm -hmm. That mental that trap. Mental. Yes. Yep. They mentally keeping them down. We yep. fall suspect to it every single time. Yep. Not over here though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I speak that shit up. Not over here. You just, you just you, gotta know you your coming history. Away, you got, yeah, that's yeah. What's coming away. Yeah, <laughs> that's up. important. Like, not over here. See, I don't like getting into it too much because you know I don't like taking the wrong way. But I know that I'm a dominant person, and in a good way though, y'all. Not in not a yeah. negative way. No, I, just, yeah, I, yeah. I know that I am. Yeah, you know what I mean? And nobody can tell me different. And by yeah. me having this attitude, that's how I got so far in life and got so advanced because I just have that confidence you know mm -hmm. what i mean it's like black white whatever i know any way it goes i'm the greatest me and nobody can stop me being the greatest me never mm. that mental enslavement shit don't work with me no more nah, <laughs> i'll be real yeah. and definitely the physical don't but yeah. the mental enslavement shit it's, that's more our generation our, the two two three generations before us they had to do the physical you know what i mean man. we're we had it we're dealing with the mental but we're also breaking through that mental at the same time while mm. dealing with it mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to get too spiritual because we're not on this subject yet. But she might the, as well hop into it. No, no, no. But in the book of Romans, it talks about the I am. The I am of your life is important because what follows after the I am is the narrative of your life. Mm -hmm. So if you say I am more than the conqueror, I am one of a kind, mm -hmm. or I am a successful black young yeah. man, mm -hmm. Speaking that of literally is controlling your narrative. Yep. But the I am that follows is... I am an outcast or I am ostracized mm -hmm. or I am excluded from judicial from judicial rights mm -hmm. or I am excluded from what, what do they call it white privilege mm -hmm. like there is no white privilege it's called you don't know how to act <laughs> you don't know what you need to do <laughs> And you let them provoke you. That's what they yeah. look for. We like to blame. Do the blame game. Yeah, pointing fingers. They ain't gonna let us do this. What the fuck? You, shut up. Go do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> what the more I mean. you fight, the more they ain't gonna let us do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be hard, yeah. no shit, but go do it. Yeah. They ain't gonna love me, though, bro. <laughs> Whatever, man. Yeah. I hate hearing that. Yeah, that is, why don't people be saying that? <laughs> because, you know what? I, read, I watched a video last night about excuses and about obstructions, okay? It's the mm. difference. Let's say if, for instance, I'm going to use myself. That's the only thing I can do is my is the example. Right. In order for me mentally or whatever, physically, to get to California, that's where I'm going to move to, I have to pass this NCLEX and become a nurse and everything, right? And then to get there. That's just a simple path. I have more I want to do. Position. Yeah. Position. In the right position. Exactly. Pretty much. And yeah. I look at that passing the NCLEX, that could be an obstruction. Like, okay, I got to get through here. I got to study for this, get through this, and rack up this money to get here. Mm -hmm. Then you got excuses. I would get there, but I don't got enough money. I don't know if I'm happy. I would get there, but you know, this job I got, oh, they give me such good benefits. Oh, I would have went to California, but you know, man, I was working this good job in Cleveland. I didn't want to leave. And that's the difference. And a lot of people get those two mixed up. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where I was going with this, but I just think I just had to say that shit. I saw a video about that last night and it hit me. It was like, we love excuses. Everybody should read The Alchemist. Ooh. That's a good what he's what that's, he's speaking on. That's, that's a, a major part. Of the oh, alchemist, that journey. The alchemist, man. You read that, it too? No, I oh, I know about it, but the alchemist it has so much to do with the origin of history and spiritual yeah. and spirituality. It got oh, me more spiritual. very much so. It's so. Matter of fact, you're right. I I don't want to say it's it. so mind boggling. But it's so powerful. If you don't know how to control your state of mind, it will brainwash you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you can't control, like when you're reading, because you really got to be able to discern and pick out the stuff that makes sense. Everything is not going to connect. Yeah. yeah. Everything's not going to connect. And you can't. You can't read thinking it is. Yeah. <laughs> you're trying to understand that whole thing. You can spin out of control. Can oh, alchemist yeah. taught me that? Actually, it just explained you right. What I was just talking about, you know, how he went through all that different shit through that yeah. journey. Yeah. It, instead of him making excuses, he just was going he through this shit. It. He, he had to go through. It. And yeah, that's why I tell people just go through the bullshit. Don't use excuses to why you can't get through it. Get through it. Just it's gonna be through. hard. The it's, Alchemist, man. It, oh my god. You gotta it's read it, man. New. It's not new. It's old. Yeah, that's it's a very old book. Old. It's a you gotta, old. Like, you gotta know your history. I'm gonna read it again. Shit. 
I, I haven't read it now. yet. But the How many times you read it? Are you reading it's it? Not, yeah, oh, I'm reading it because you know I was telling you yesterday. I read it yesterday. Let me shut up. Reading it, but yeah, y'all gonna love it. Yeah, it's yeah, a, it's a great book. Yeah. Actually, when I'm done with it, I'll let I'll let you read it if you want to read oh, it. Oh yeah, so I, then, man, I hated reading when I was younger. Hey, no, save me. Man, I didn't read it all when man, I was younger. No, I read everything. I, I do too. Oh, That's shit. why I'm like, oh my god, so, college, ooh, new book. We be coming to happy yeah. Yeah. new book. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you get real happy. Yeah. Osho. Oh, that's because knowledge is power. Man. Osho. What book by him you like? Emotions. The motions. Yeah. The, the motions. Emotions. Emotions. Oh, Read I heard about mo- that. You like self development books too? Yeah. yeah. You I'm have a, you have I'm to master to yourself. You know. I'm reading this book called Mindfulness. Mindfulness. That sounds like a good book. Mastery. You read Mastery by mm-hmm. Robert Greene. I, I saw it. I saw yeah, it. yeah. Great. I saw it. I saw it's it. easy read too. Like when you look at the book, it can be intimidating. But once you read it, it's like he's just breaking down how different levels of people had to go through their mastery stages mm-hmm. to, to find themselves as artists, as firefighters, as painters, whatever. He and he just gives examples of right. how they had to become that master, the steps that it takes to become your true master of who you are. That's funny. Because it takes steps, you know. Um, every funny. book I'm reading now is help ground in myself and understand just like emotions by Osho. Um, they're helping me understand. Emotions well, is a big part of your everyday being. I will being. encourage both of you to look up a class. Okay. What and kind of class is this? <laughs> <laughs> Grief recovery. Okay. Oh, yeah. The tools that this class gives you about your emotions mm-hmm. is how I mastered myself. Hmm. What it teaches you is it teaches you how to navigate through pain and find answers. That'd be the hardest shit to do. The hardest. Yeah, I'm going pain. through it now. Yeah, hard, the yeah. hard thing, and uh, I'll talk about this toward the end, but the hard thing about pain is you have the conscious mind, you have the subconscious mind. Mm. But you know where all your pain sits? It sits in your subconscious. Mm. Oh, very much so. So if you, yeah, if you don't know how to be mindful of your yes and no's, your triggers, mm-hmm. you will never be able to become a mindful person you'll always be mindless because mm-hmm. you can be conscious but still be mindless in the same sense mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. learn no, mindfulness no. this is the last thing i'm going to say how many of you are in tune with your breathing as you go throughout the day not at all i mean not, I'm, I, 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 I meditate before but i ain't gonna sit there and lie say Hmm. Not at all. I just be breathing. You're supposed to be. And this is the thing. You're supposed to be in tune with it? Oh, yes. very much yes. so. Yes. I gotta get it helps it. you focus. That's a part of your focus. This is, this is the thing. Did you, y'all, y'all go ahead. Eat the language. Yeah, that's where I got it from. Your mindfulness controls your awareness. Mm-hmm. So when you fall asleep in the car, why is that? Hmm. Don't say the hypnosis of the road. I'm gonna that's give you, not it. I fall asleep in the car. Driving? That's not it. Oh, I never fell asleep. I don't want to. But uh, I don't know. I'll be tired, man. Why do you get sleepy? You can be yeah. sitting in the room. Why do you get sleepy? Bored. <laughs> you can't stand still. At a, at a stagnant <laughs> because, motion, relaxation. Because at a certain point, your breathing staggers and you become a belly breather. Hmm. The less oxygen that it gets to your brain, the more sleepy you get. Hmm. Because if you're sleepy, and try it. When you get sleepy, mm-hmm. just... Your oxygen goes down when you sleep, actually, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Your oxygen level goes down to its lowest point. Mm-hmm. But when you breathe through your nose, you wake up. Mm-hmm. So anytime you get tired during the day randomly, just start taking these deep breaths through your nose mm-hmm. and watch your alertness and awareness kick in. I'm going to try that. I'm about to right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. The hard part about mindfulness, though, is... <laughs> yeah, can you, can you breathe regularly? Like into my diaphragm? To your diaphragm and then transfer to chest breathing and then transfer to nose breathing. And it, it takes some focus. And to be able to count your breaths is when you master yeah, it. Yeah, especially counting them threes. The That's what meditation breath. taught me. He always said, pay attention to your breathing. Pay attention to oh, your breathing. And one time I meditated so deeply, I was gone. Like, yes, I was yeah, gone. Yeah. Yes. I was gone. I was like, into it. boom. I was like, whoa. And the thing <laughs> is, it releases stress. Oh, oh yeah. Every, yeah. Because when you when you meditate, people don't understand the concept of when you meditate, your physical body's here, but once you get to a certain point of meditation, you get into the process, you feel something start to lift. Mm-hmm. People say, "Oh, my soul came out of my body." No, that's what we feel like. Though that's your stress coming mm-hmm. out of your body, and that's also. Ooh, we, I didn't expect to go to this. That's also 
your subconscious coming to light Mm -hmm. because the longer you meditate the deeper you get and the deeper you get the more you become in tune with your thoughts and your deeper self Mm -hmm. and when you get so far ask yourself what it looks like when you get into meditating ask yourself what does my deeper self look like Mm -hmm. I guarantee you it'll come I've had that see I've actually heard my higher self one time it's so hard to stay in tune though it's very hard you have to be mindful. And every day. How, how every was day. that experience for you? It was life-changing. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, it, it was life-changing. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you. So I was outside. I was at a point where I meditated every day after work. Mm-hmm. Um, and at Coca-Cola, I'd probably be getting off at 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning. I was dedicated. I'd just sit up under the tree, look at the moon for a minute, and nature. hit my meditation. Oh, my God. Yeah, nature is a... Get outside, y'all. We're so, we're I'm, so I'm at the park tone. all the time. Oh, we're so out of tune with nature. Yeah, oh. We're a part of nature. We yeah. are. We are Man, nature. People like, don't understand that. We that's are our nature. mother. Yeah, exactly. we're, that's our mother. Earth is... We are her and she well, Let's not her. interrupt him anymore. Oh, yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, so I ahead, forgot. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I was sitting up under the tree, and mm-hmm. I was just meditating. Mm-hmm. And I hit this point where it just sounded like static from a TV. Mm-hmm was just everywhere and I'm like it's loud out here and you know when you do something every day you notice subtle changes and I'm like why is it so loud so I put my hands over my ears just like you know covering them up I'm like this is literally outside I'm hearing because covering my ears is quiet Mm -hmm. so I'm like okay let me get back into my meditative state so meditating I hit this next level of it's like you just feel your energy just align like Mm -hmm. when you ever feel yourself Oh, At certain man. points where you just feel your chakras, the energy flow just mm-hmm. shoot down through you. And I felt that. It's a full and I, body experience. A full body experience. And I just started hearing someone else talk. Mm-hmm. But it was a powerful voice. Because I knew it wasn't mine. Because I, then I started thinking. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> it they, was, say they, don't, they say don't try to think when you do that. Mm-mm. But it's so hard because mm-hmm. you're like, who is this? Uh-huh. You know, because you know your voice. You know your thoughts from yeah. this voice. And he was so powerful. And it just, it, but it crept in. It was like, it was low. And then the voice just grew. But then as I thought, I'm like, what, who the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> and as I'm thinking, it literally, it was just like how it came. It faded right. back out and it just completely went side. But then my thoughts were thinking, I couldn't stop thinking. Like, yep. who was that I just heard? What was this? Yeah, yeah. So I'm searching for yeah, answers searching. Uh-huh. and trying to get back into that state. I'm thinking, I want to hear this person again. Yep. Like that was myself, you know. You know, just reading about it, you know, here being able to communicate with your higher self. It's difficult to get back into that again, man. Oh, very. It's like once you get that glance, you keep on trying to chase it and get that. Mm-hmm. But it, it's going to come when it's supposed to come again. Okay? Oh, it's going to come. It'll find it's, you. Yeah. It, it has to do with being able to balance out your energy. Mm hmm. That shit was difficult. And the one thing you do, have to, you do have to avoid is people. So when, people, when certain people talk to you, I'm a firm believer in this. When certain people talk to you, they ignite something in you. And then other people, they'll disrupt something. Like, oh, yo, you cringy feeling? Or what? And I'm getting into a spiritual aspect here. When okay. some people talk to you, like when we're talking, mm-hmm. it really ignites something because it's fruitful conversation and it's pure truth. Mm-hmm. Now, with other people, when you talk to them, sometimes it shows on your facial expression, mm-hmm. but you can feel it in your stomach when something's not right. Yeah. Intuition. And yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Your discernment and your intuition, being able to decipher who's the right people to hang around, comes out of the mouth. Life and death come from your tongue. Mm -hmm. So what people speak about, if you don't know how to be mindful of your spirit and what it craves and what it wants, you soaking up that, you soaking up all of that energy Mm -hmm. that I honestly call it dark matter. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that's what it is. Because energy takes up space. And once you find the alignment to your higher self, the one thing you have to do, and I've actually stayed there for quite some time, but you want to know the thing? I was, I was in isolation. <laughs> you was decided to say it. Go ahead, bro. I was, yeah, I was, cause I was in isolation for like three months mm-hmm. and the only people I was around was my mentors. Oh, that's good though. Staying there. It's so mind blowing because your thinking is so much more efficient. Oh, way more. And this goes back to the gift that people with autism and stutters get. 
Mm-hmm. Their mind moves so fast that their mind can't keep up with their mouth. Mm. But when you're searching for your higher self, that's what you go through. Mm-hmm. It all correlates. I started all the damn time, man. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 That's why they say, think twice, speak once. Mm. Think before you talk. Don't talk before you think. That's the problem with people who stutter. They talk mm-hmm. before they think about their thoughts. Mm-hmm. So if I'm just throwing stuff out there, but I haven't thought about it, guess what's going to come out? And, 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 <laughs> I have to do that. Sometimes I lose I lose a thought, though. Yeah. I have to get it out. If I don't, it's going to be gone. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it be for yeah. me sometimes. Yeah. It's faithful it's a bunch of people, and yeah. I, I'm just trying to flow with it. And- yeah. You just get the stutter and do it. Uh huh. Yeah. Hey, we get better with it over time. Oh, it's all yeah. about just, you know. Yes, I don't know. Taking this will take breath. me a while, though. But yeah. Do what you just did, though. Wait, take take that breath. breath. That actually works. Yeah, take that deep, breath, a man. Breath all right, everybody. <laughs> a deep breath is literally your gateway to your higher self. Really? Mm-hmm. It, really. You know my gateway to my higher self besides meditation and all that? traveling oh yeah yeah listen yes i I, I scream this on a lot of my posts my goal is to travel for a living because that feeling i get from traveling nothing in life has ever gave me that feeling nothing it's free Uh, of course you know love every i get everybody but such as that freeing feeling traveling and i was like this is meditation you know i mean this is my higher self because it's I just feel so scenery. good. It's that new scenery, man. Yeah. I'm born for it's it. I'm born to be in the earth, the, around the world, man. It's cool to be in one area, but it's better to be all over. Because the Different air, energies. The air is different. The oxygen is different. The vibe is different. Oh, 100%. It's an adventure. It's, a, yep. it's an adventure. Yeah, it's, like, like, it's just like, oh, what are we about to get into today? Who could I possibly meet? Oh, look at that over there. Yeah, oh, the man. world becomes new. It's like a baby coming out the womb. Yeah. Everything yeah. is new. Yeah. new. It's like, yeah. wow. Like... This is amazing, you know. And that shows that we have it within us, though. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to keep that feeling every day. But how many people can adjust to that feeling? That's the question. Can you adjust to different environments? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you mean, though? Hmm? What you mean, like, in general, just different environments? Mm -hmm. or? Because I think I can. I think I can bounce around all over. New is unfamiliar. Unknown is fearful. Mm -hmm. So when you're going into a new... When you're going into new energy... It's fearful because it's unknown. Mm-hmm. Can you adjust to the unknown? Oh, yeah. Because I think people, life forces me. Yeah, because the people you encounter, mm-hmm. you don't know these people. So if you don't master your own energy... It can be some damage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It can yeah. be some damage, yeah. See, I'm not going to sit here and act like, oh, I'm not scared of shit. There's a few things I'm still scared mm-hmm. of. <laughs> but overall, though, I know myself enough to embrace the unknown. Sure. That's, that's to the embrace it. You're supposed to. Yeah, to mm-hmm. embrace it. Because anyway, it goes. We don't know everything in life. We don't know what's gonna happen in 20 days. We can predict. We can like, okay, by next week, I want to go here. I want to do this. Yeah. yeah. But the universe guides us to where it wants to guide yeah. us to, whether we like it or not. Yeah. It's good it's, to have it's goals. Push you. Yeah, it's gonna be like, okay, you can do that. But in the meanwhile, you about to do this. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna push you there, just like you coming to the basketball game. It, yeah, just, that's what I was talking just about. Happened, us just linking up and be like, yeah, let's do the podcast. You know, feel me? Now we're here. Hey, that's know, crazy how that happened, though. Everything just happens the way it's supposed to, regardless if you think you... That's something I've given... Mess- and listen to listen to omens, listen to messages, listen to what people tell you. Because mm-hmm. just like how mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. told me after the game, you doing Uber, you doing Lyft? Yeah. Jerron told me that, my aunt told me that, a friend uh-huh. of mine told me that. Everybody kept telling me, <laughs> yeah. do Lyft, do Uber, uh-huh. you know, do do that. And then Jerron just coming over and doing it for me was like, all right, I'm supposed to be doing this. Yep. There's a reason... Whether, because, you know, I was more like, ah, that's cool, but it's money, you got to listen to those messages. The universe oh gives messages through word of mouth, through signs, through synchronicity, 444, 111, 11. Everything means something. You just have to pay attention. You yo, use your eye to see these omens so they mm-hmm. can help guide you along your journey. You know, they're helping you, your ancestors, your angels, they're here right now you know mm-hmm. they're, they're pushing you to where you're supposed to go we just have to listen you know and that's a part of secluding yourself that's a part of breathing and, and just hear hearing feeling you know right. you know we, we have to sit quiet and just okay what was i told today you know think about your day think about what some random old person just told you on a whim 
Like, oh yeah, I feel like you should do this. And he was like, I was just thinking that. You know, <laughs> like Real. that's a message, you know, they're talking to, they're they're communicating with you. Right. So with you, okay. you're a traveler. You're supposed to travel. That's a part yeah. of your your journey, your destiny is 100%. to travel. You know, you're supposed to listen to your callings or things that give you life. If you love that shit, yeah. that crap, it, do it. I you listen, I listen to what gives me life. And I yeah. run with it, too. I don't care if nobody has to say I run with what gives me, what gives me life. Because mm-hmm. if I don't, I'm just going to be one of those old people like, I wish I would have did that. Yeah, you know I mean? I don't my grandparents, my mama, all of them. I, don't be an I wish person. I wish I did. Oh, you still that's... can do it, though. Even they're old, I feel. Even people are older, yeah. they still can do it. You oh, know yeah, I mean? you could do it, but you don't want to have... You don't want to have too many times you say, man, I wish. Yes, and you'd be yeah, 75 man. and being like, dang, I wish I did that when I was your age. You know, like, yeah. life will pass you the F up. Yeah. And life is going fast. Y'all peep yeah. that? Life is going Life fast. is going way <laughs> too quick. It's like, whoa. <laughs> hey, just enjoy the ride, man. We're, we're, <laughs> that's all I can say. I, that's I, all I can say because I'm just like, <laughs> ne- life has never went like this before. It's it been going so ever since, man. It's been going fast, period. But definitely ever since December when I graduated from college. Boom, like we already in May. I'm just like, what the fuck? What, Yo, what the hell? that's why I and I'll be trying to tell you time doesn't exist. It doesn't. It's an illusion. It's an illusion. Keep us on but, schedule. But it's weird how fast it really is going. Mm-hmm. And we have to we have to mm-hmm. get on board, yo. We gotta get on board because whatever is it's going is happening. It's gonna happen. That's what yeah. my friend T Flores said. He said, Hey man, it's a wave right here. This is what he said, it's a wave right now. And if we don't get on that wave, we're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. <laughs> we're going to miss gonna it. We're going to get left. We're going to get Honestly. left. Honestly. That's being in tone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That, that's hard to sync yourself with yourself and with time and the essence of seasons. No, that's, that's like hard. <laughs> you, just, you, just, you, just, <laughs> you just gave me a... <laughs> it's, it's hard. It is. It is. Staying in tune with the spirit. And I'm going to spirituality here. Staying in tune with the spirit is a divine ability that not everybody has. Okay. Like the fact that you know seasons tells me you're spiritually in tune. Mm-hmm. But there's a lot of people who walk this earth and time is an illusion, but the seasons are not. And that's how you na- that's how you can understand how to navigate through your life because you understand what season you're in. Mm-hmm. Like I knew I was in a season of reaping just because of how hard it, oh my goodness, how hard it was for me to adjust mm. at the beginning. And I was so motivated coming in 2019. That's what's up. But the attack on my mental mm. for the first three months was something like I'd never experienced in my life. Scary. I, I could not get things going. Mm. Like, it was, if it wasn't one thing, it was another. If it wasn't my son, it was something else. If it, uh, it was everything. Mm. Everything. Your world seemed to crumble. It, oh, yeah. It was crumbling right before my eyes. Mm-hmm. But that means something new was just blossoming. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. That's that's the beauty of it. Like when, the, mm-hmm. the bigger adversity, you know something's right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially when you're going Got through it. that. Keep that positive mind Stuff frame. that just makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. You got to embrace yeah, it. Yeah. You, yeah. I made a post about the Instagram a few weeks ago, embrace it all, the good and the bad, because we want to embrace the good so much, we keep forgetting about the bad. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute. It's, a, it's going to be some bad times. It's a swinging pendulum. Yeah. It, whenever you, when life is going real good, best believe it has to swing that other way. You got to be prepared. You got to just be prepared and understand things have to fall. It's the yin to the yang. You Boom. can't have the good without the bad. You can't have the evil to, evil without the good. You right, know, it's, right. a, it's a balance to everything. So. Yeah. Just whatever season you in, embrace it, you know? Yeah. And that's something a lot of us have to do. And I'll say even for myself, just embrace Same. what I'm going Same. through, you know? Like, I'm in an emotional healing stage of my life, you know? I have years of baggage on me, you feel yeah. me? That's yeah. why I spoke that um, Osho Emotions book up, because... I went through that. It's, it's, went through that. it's difficult. It's, and for me, I don't really deal with my emotions. I suppress them which is dangerous, Mm -hmm. but I just focus on the good. I focus on other things so I don't have to deal with it. But now my chest is heavy, you know, my heart is is, Mm -hmm. thumping, you know, and now I have to deal with so much stuff, which I hear a lot of people coming to me, man, I'm just feeling like this, boo doo boo Mm -hmm. And I I try to fix others before I fix myself or try to talk and help others before I help myself, which has been a hindrance for my own spiritual awakening, healing, well, healing, healing process. But, you know, like this book, 
feel, learn to feel. That's something that as men we have to do as well. Mm-hmm. We're so bottled up with so much crap because society makes us have to repress, suppress everything. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we, we can't stand our jobs. We can't stand our car. We can't stand our household, our friends, our family. Like yep. it's so much we just push down in that barrel and eventually it's going to pop. That lid going to pop. The Ooh, when it pop, it's going to pop. It's going to boom. That barrel going to crack. It, it, it's going it, to It's finna shake. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So. That barrel of emotions is like a tsunami, man. Oh, yeah. It's dangerous. If it's you, poison. If you don't confront it before you suppress so much, once you do, if you don't get help when you open that door, it can lead to suicide. Oh, it can. It can lead to suicide. It can lead to suicide. Suicide. It'll snapping on somebody because, you know, that's one of the dangerous parts. People who don't express or feel or if they're so bottled up, they're the first people to kill. Mm, because damn. when they have that snap moment or you piss them off to that point... Or if they about to fight, they fighting to kill you. Cause mm-hmm. They are enraged. It ain't just upset and crying. They're 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 done. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's what the book talks about. So learning to feel is healthy. You know, like if you need to cry, cry. You feel me? Like a lot of people just don't know how to embrace their emotions. We push them off. We 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 sip liquor. We smoke. We kick it. We do things. <laughs> we mask to, our emotions. Yeah, we we escape them instead yeah. of just sitting down and being like, man, I'm just sad right now. You know, and I just need to cry or go to the woods, go walk, and just feel that. You know, guys, I, I honestly about that. I well, talked about that. Yeah, it's true. I yeah. find guys are honestly one of the I can't say the most emotional, but one of the most emotional people. I don't just things period because for us to suppress everything, it shows that we're overly emotional, believe it or not, and we don't want to show it. We don't. We be like, no. Yeah. We, you, you get called soft. You yeah, know, yeah. you don't want to look you soft. soft. To you. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, soft. You don't want to look soft to That's your That's our natural people. instinct, man. Yeah. I don't like that, though, nah, man. It's think, a, think about how, and this, this perspective is so broad, and I'm going to put myself out there, but think about how vulnerable nature is. Mm-hmm. And think about how we're a part of nature. Mm-hmm. So we're vulnerable too. Think about it. I know we are. Going, going mean, out every day. Going yeah. out into nature mm-hmm. creates a sense of vulnerability inside you. Mm-hmm. So if nature is just that vulnerable and you can do one thing to make everything fall out of place, it's like that with human beings. You can do one thing as a human being. One event could alter the narrative of your life for years. Yeah. If you don't face it. Mm-hmm. If you're not in tune with your emotions, it can happen. That shift can happen quickly, too. So, yeah, man, too. It's, it's your instinct to be vulnerable. It's your enough is. Mm-hmm. Be that. It's be vulnerable. Instinct. Men, that's something, especially as we're going to talk we about. We don't want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's how it is. But a lot of a lot of what we're taught as men is to just suck it up, be a man. Right. You know, even I was watching Bernie Mac, and his nephew was crying. He was like, boy, suck that up. Mm-hmm. We don't do that. He that's was like, real. we man. We don't, we don't feel that, you that, know. That's real. That's you know? real. And we get taught that through through everything that mm-hmm. we just, as guys, we're the leaders, we're the strong ones. We have to stand tall. Yeah. And it's like, no, sometimes we have to, not sometimes, a lot of the time. A lot time, of times, yeah. We have to get off that high horse mm-hmm. and just lay, you know, comfort your woman or whoever, your mother, you right. know, your daughter. Sometimes you just need a hug. Everybody just needs a hug. Shit, it's cuddle season half the time. Ah. <laughs> I like cuddles, okay? You feel me? Men ain't been, a lot of men don't say it, but men like cuddles because it's that vulnerable state. You feel? Yep. It's the warmth and just the... the Dang, that word just slipped me. But it's just the feels. You know, it's the energy. It's just to be able to be at peace and just relax and not have to... Have your chest out every yeah, day. Yeah, I, I hated doing just, that. You, I cut that shit out years ago. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, my awakening in person was 2016. I just made a post about on Instagram. I picked up a book called The Untethered Soul, mm. and that's why I got my my enlightenment journey. That's why I call that journey. It's like my journey of enlightenment. Mm. And I, you just realize so much about yourself by reading, by just different experiences, such as, you know, like, yeah, yeah, try to be all that, like... Come on, man. <laughs> that shit's exhausting. It is. That, you know, going through grade school and, and middle school, all that high school, you're trying to be, yeah, I got to put on this tough road. Yeah. Might try to run me over. Like, we not in jail. Shit. Yeah, we not. <laughs> yeah, like, shit. It's that fitting in nature. You know, yeah. you just, you want to fit in with crowds that you don't even know. You don't even know. You, you, it's just, you either popular, you, or that middle group who kind of just knows everybody, mm-hmm. or you're lame. Yeah. 
and that was just kind of like the three groups. Thankfully, I was in that middle. I feel like I was too, right and there I just, in that middle. I just knew both sides, and I never looked at them. That well, you know, they were popular, but and who was popular. lame. But damn, I just kicked us off. Dang, it, it he was, was tuned into that. Was they? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry that cut off. I bet it didn't save either. They probably was like, what? What happened? Oh, Marcel was on there too. Yeah. I guess an hour is the limit. God damn. How how you time limit alive? Yeah. Like, he was probably telling too much knowledge. They <laughs> probably was. Like, was. Hey, Somebody hey, tuned hey, in. Hey, cut them niggas off. <laughs> Shut it off. <up. laughs> ASAP. Hey, 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 ASAP. Hey, 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 Get them off. Get them off. Hey, you know that's real though? What? Um. How to be cutting people out? Uh, you seen the Matrix, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you know the dude who they're fighting. Um, I I can't say names. I don't remember all of it like that. But the evil, the evil guy, the one with the glasses, the white dude that they kept fighting, and he he formed himself. He like split apart and it'd be another copy of him, and then another copy. Oh, of... okay. I don't remember the Matrix that much now. Oh, but okay, yeah, okay. Go, go ahead. Okay, well, basically they were fighting this guy and. He was the Matrix. He was mm. he was a replica of what the Matrix represented. This white guy in a suit, black glasses, and if you weren't following the rules, he would pop up. Basically, mm -hmm. that's how life is, especially living in a three D Matrix. Right, you know? right. When you talk about certain things, the Matrix listens. It sends out that copy mm. that tones into you. So, say if you're telling somebody, you know, about spirituality, right. you know, speaking life into them, giving them, you know, fruitful knowledge. And then somebody can be listening in to you. That's the matrix. Like, or they'll come and disrupt what you're doing. You know? Oh, okay. like, It's like a hating on you. I see what you're saying. Or that just bad vibe, bad energy. Right. Which just happened like, online. Yeah. You see how it just cut off like yeah, that. We talking gets, about some real Some hits. real shit. And then it just shuts off. You feel me? That's how the matrix can work. Because wow. it tunes into anything that is above it. Above that it, you know? We're we're on a godly realm talking like this. You feel me? This isn't Ooh, ordinary. It's too powerful. You know what they say, man. It, I ain't trying to put that in the universe. I talk about it off the air, but yeah, that, that's true. <laughs> I ain't trying to put no, I ain't trying to put nothing too much into out there. But yeah, that that's true though, man. Hey, bro, randomly the live cut off on us, man. We just had a deep conversation. <laughs> Boom! It just cut off. It's back on now, but it literally cut off. Ain't that crazy? Huh? The live cut off. Yeah, it, 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 it off. shut off. <laughs> like the app closed and everything. Yeah, you might want to pay attention to that. That's what yeah, he just we, said. We, 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 we got to pay attention. Yeah, that's not no coincidence. I no. know it's not a coincidence because usually we just go straight through. I heard what y'all was talking about. Yeah. That's not no coincidence. I no, know. They don't want They don't want that being aired. They're like, hey, man, get, get them off. Yeah, man. especially <laughs> new people. It's, you know, in black, we all black right here. Yeah, yeah. You that's know, my males, whole following for them. So, yeah. You feel me? So they, they tune into everything. It's, it's empowering. Like for black men we're talking about what we're talking oh. about. It's like they say. It's like what Nipsey said. If they kill me for this, ride with me. Ride with me. Got to. You got to, man. We have That's to, true. We, we have to elevate each other at this point in time. We got to speak this this positive positivity out into the world, you know, so others can hear and get it get it going within your own self within your own i don't like those positive vibes they speaking it's too positive yeah. like hey <laughs> take some more hurts. positive vibes <laughs> it hurts people. why does positivity hurt people though yeah that was a part of what we want to talk about yeah why does positivity hurt people i'll explain that once i'm done Say all right y'all we about to find out why positivity hurts people <laughs> yeah Ooh. okay 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 you gotta put that in there okay. oh yeah i, sh I should have changed all right kevin i'm gonna keep it on live right now all right, no, let me, let me go ahead and wave at the people while I'm up here. Oh, but they ain't watching. All right, no, she watches it. Let me see. Oh, no, no. So you got to teach me all of this, huh? No. Yeah. <laughs> you just leave. You get your phone and you just go on live. And I'm recording it from there to put on YouTube so it can yeah. document it. You know what I mean? What's up. Yeah, I, yep. I've already peeped a lot of your YouTube oh, yep, videos. Yep, yep. I'll be here. I've already be watching. Yep. Like, but, I'm documenting the journey, bro. Mm. Oh, that's how you. 
that's a good vlogger too. For real. Get out here, especially as you go to different states. Oh, yeah. You know, you can make that. money doing that. Just vlogging, doing the restaurants and stuff and sitting down and just tag the restaurants in yep. your Instagram. Hey, and they be like, happy. <laughs> yeah, like you you shouting us out. Yep. You know, you might get some free meals if you hey, yep. give us a good cool and come back. I'm I'm already hip. So what was we talking about? Why does positive vibes hurt people? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. It's this is ooh. Okay. Y'all want the sugar coated version or you just want oh, you the gotta whole the real platter? Give, give them the real, man. All give right. them the real. So negative energy, it, it works. It works like cancer. And staying in negative energy is it's it's so easy to be governed by negative energy. Because when you think about it, darkness is the only the absence of light. So when an individual is so negative, that just shows you how much light has interfered in their life. Mm -hmm. I believe the light of man is behind closed doors. Because the light that you, the light that dwells in you is the light that you have behind closed doors. Mm -hmm. So when you see somebody who's disturbed by positive energy, that shows you how much energy that they haven't had that's positive their whole life. Mm -hmm. And the longer you're governed by dark energy, the more complacent you'll become and you become okay with it. Oh, and I it, get you. It, it becomes mm -hmm. a cycle. And that cycle is so hard to break because when you break a cycle, you have to go against the grain. It's not mm -hmm. going against the original narrative of what people are used to. Going against the grain is defying the odds. Black educated men defied the odds. Nipsey Hussle defied the odds because he dropped out of school and was self-taught. Mm -hmm. He didn't complete school. And that that's so empowering. And when Nipsey Hussle died, that impacted me more than any celebrity death has ever Same. impacted me. Same. Like him dying yeah. was not, it wasn't conspiracy. It wasn't personal. That was, a, that was literally an attack from dark energy. Mm hmm Oh, because yeah. to take out the light, to take the light of man out of this world, do you know what you would be doing? You would be condemning everybody. Mm -hmm. Because without any light from men, I got a deep question. On where I, this is not rhetorical. Where would women be without the light of man? Shh. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> where, where would they be? Up. Well, it, it ain't a limit to where they Oh, be. I was thinking, I was like, okay, I was like, I'm lost. Now, think about, huh? now, think about what that says about us. Yeah. If women didn't have, and I'm going to go left just a little bit. Women don't need sex as much as men need sex. No, they don't. They're more controlled than men. They're more focused. They're more intuitive. Yeah. They're mm -hmm. more matured. They're more committed. So think about this world without the light of man and the darkness of man. Think about where women would be. And it's it's already showing now that women are governing this earth. Women oh, are yeah. taking over because men fall short and men are so fearful. They don't want to take a risk. Mm -hmm. But men that are negative, you know what it comes from? And this emotions. Mm -hmm. Your emotions govern your life your emotions can seep out the crevices of a wall that doesn't have cracks mm -hmm. and your and ego yeah your ego your super ego and your id like that's that's mm -hmm. a deeper conversation yeah that is a different that's a time. different yeah but yeah. understanding that negative energy exists is important because if i dwell on negative energy and then i come across a course of negative people i'm already there when i encounter them I'm pushing myself further back into what I'm trying to get out of. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when people are going along this process, they don't confront what their inner demons are. Yeah, they don't. I know somebody who's self-impaired. And that, that sounds bad that you literally are the person that's impairing your judgment. Mm -hmm. Because he's a self-proclaimed man full of demons. And he's okay with it. Mm -hmm. He's miserable. He's bitter. He's old. He lies. He's conformed to this world. Romans 12, 2 says, do not conform to the ways of this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Mm -hmm. Your mind controls your reality. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, that. And, yeah. <laughs> and this, this guy is so negative, and I told you about it, but I'm going to tell you about it. Mm. 
he was talking to me. He was like, what's wrong with you today? I said, man, it's just one of them days. He said, you sound like you're miserable. Hmm. I said, don't get it twisted. My silence is a misery. Hmm. My silence is actually a sign of peace because the mm -hmm. more people talk, the more miserable you are. Mm -hmm. Because there's there's just not that much to talk about. That's what the show, man. <laughs> silence determines wisdom and knowledge. Be afraid of the person that's silent in the room. Shoot. <laughs> that's what this be dude told me he was like you be just listening I was like yeah those are the dangerous people and it's funny because the people that are the silent in the room are the people that are alone the most and the people that are alone mm -hmm. the most guess what they love the most they care mm -hmm. the most they love the hardest yeah mm -hmm. they sure do and it backfires if you don't know how to control that yeah so with negative people the more you talk the more demons you interrupt Demons are spirits. Demons aren't people. They're not physical deities. They're spirits. Mm -hmm. And spirits can grab hold of you because it takes 21 days to break a habit. Mm -hmm. People run in this parallel dimension with their demons and it becomes a co-pilot. What you submit to is what prays through you. Mm -hmm. So if you submit to negative energy, that's what you're going to give off. And if that's what you're used to giving off when you find something different and if it seems uncomfortable, it's going to frustrate you. Yeah. Like, hey, get that shit out of here. You're yeah. too nice. <laughs> hey, man, how are you doing today? <laughs> Going to a spiritual point of this, it's like exorcists. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Exorcists have to be so firm and tenacious, bold, have tons of gump because they need to know who they are and they need to be able to fight off these demons that they're expelling, mm -hmm. which is why they have crosses and oil and they read the Bible because by the power of the Holy Spirit and by the power of God behind them they can dispel these demons but alone they'll just become possessed themselves mm -hmm. and <laughs> man can only fight off these things for a certain amount of time mm -hmm. it's like negative energy have you ever seen A Wrinkle in Time? is that, is that that new Disney? you might yeah, yeah. want I've seen see that. it Oh, that's a great movie it's, for kids. It's so, beautiful. There's so many messages in that movie, and there's a point. There's a there's a point in the movie, and you probably know what I'm talking about, where the father mm. is talking to the son and telling him, "Do not give in to the dark energy." The dark, yo, and it's so powerful because dark energy has a seductive aroma, and it can seduce you and send you an illuminating picture that may sound good, but it's horrible for you. Mm -hmm. And it's, it reminds me of this scene on the mist where this guy was succumbed and imploded with smoke. Mm. And the smoke wrapped itself around him and it entered in his body through four ways. Through his nostrils, through his mouth, and through his two ears. Mm. And by the time he was done, and this is what people who have bad energy look like, mm -hmm. by the time he was done, the color of his eyes was the color of the mist that went inside of him mm -hmm. you ever mm -hmm. seen people with bad energy their eyes look a certain way i never look at them in the eyes their spirit looks dull oh. though you can see the spirit of a man mm -hmm. through the eyes of a man hmm, that's why we're shades then y'all hey with the twist up <laughs> well, yeah, I, I get you said, you know? yo, they say the eyes of the, um, to the soul the key to the soul what they say again something like that something about the i know eyes. exactly what you're talking yeah. about i, I don't want to quote it because i'm not too. sure yeah Eyes are the gates. To the, the, the gates to the soul. Is that it? The gates to the soul. The gates to yeah. the soul. The yeah. eyes will tell you everything. Yeah. So the reason why it's dangerous to look into a man's eyes is because the longer you look into a man's eyes that has negative energy, he becomes disrupted by it. Mm -hmm. He can't they, take it. They get offensive. They get offended. You can walk into a room, mm -hmm. and this is how I love to sustain my energy. If I can't walk into a room and disrupt people with bad demons, if my energy doesn't disrupt you, I'm doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. But, and I know this, and I say this with all confidence, I am a disruptive human being. Yeah. Or I you'll be in, attacked. Yeah. You, you know, they, they'll, like they'll spot you. Yeah, I've walked <laughs> into rooms, and I've watched people mean mug me. Yeah. Because you, you, you're the outcast. And they didn't like me. I've always wanted to fit into a box but when I found myself, I realized the further outside the box I am, the more successful I'll be. Mm -hmm. That's like uh, at the gym. I learned a lot going to the gym, but something mm. I've noticed is 
the development in the gym. Yeah. The, oh, it, it develops your everything. Everything. Mm-hmm. So I was at the gym, <laughs> mm-hmm. and I noticed a few people was like, you always smiling. What you always smiling for? See? And I'm just like, damn. See? You, you know, like, it's, yeah, it's yeah, that's really, too. like yeah. you smile a lot. Like, wow, that's that's an issue, huh? And this guy, he was like, honestly, I thought you were gay because you smiled all the time. And I was just like, ain't that yeah, some yeah. ish? <laughs> <laughs> a man smiling Me, can make more. you perceive that he's gay. He too happy. Too happy. Right, I'm too happy. Why are you shit? Because yeah. they're not happy. Yeah, and but he told me he was like, once I got to know you, understand you, I see why you're always smiling. But still though, no. but, but it was just one of them. What? Yeah. It, it threw me off. I was just like, <laughs> I, I didn't want to say that was the most ignorant thing I've heard, but it was just, it just was <laughs> ignorant. Top, it top was top just like. <laughs> But that's society, you know. Like I said, the dark energies within people, they don't like to see you happy. They don't want to see joy within you, you know. A lot of a lot of of this life has been so depressed, you know. Mm-hmm. To see a beacon of light walking amongst the darkness. I like how you I like where you're going with this. I know where you go I like where you're going with you it. You feel me? You you become attacked, you know, and it's to hinder your happiness, your joy that you carry with yourself, you know? Mm, yeah. That's why I say you can be attacked because if you you cool, oh, man, what, what you wearing them shoes for, man? Mm-hmm. I like them. That's an attack on you. Mm-hmm. Man, you smiling. You look gay. That's an attack on you. It's you the know? little things. It's little things. It's, it's, just, little it's things. just poking at you. Oh, my God. You, you could be up here, but... If enough people keep poking, you can yo yo your smile can go to a straight face yep, and a yeah, frown. Yeah, can't let it. But it's just being being you, and you know, don't let people are fearful of what they don't understand, and that's it's the why unknown, man. it's the unknown, and yeah, that's why you like, could, that's why positive people, why, that's why some people don't like positivity because it's an unknown that they're not used to and they're not comfortable with, you know, and they have to just adjust. They have to adjust. You don't adjust yourself because right. you keep being you. But they have to adjust to that. And some will, some won't. And something else I wanted to say, people start watching kids' movies, like A Wrinkle in Time. Man, there's so many messages in kids' movies that you don't know. It's a ton because that's when you get them. That's when you can program them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, how they, that's how they program you. Yeah. yeah. As, as an early age. But it's great, oh. these movies that are coming out now. Even, really? Like, they're good ones? Like, even oh. Winnie the Pooh. Cause he was talking, I just saw that one. and he when the dude was like, "We don't recognize you anymore because you." I, I didn't see that. Okay, I so to watch it. Christopher mm-hmm. Robin is an adult now. Mm-hmm. Oh yo, I saw. Oh, I, yo, just hey, saw too. I just saw it. I just saw it. It's a serious movie. It's it's a great movie, but I'm the gonna, message is behind it. I'm gonna definitely watch you it. You know, watch kids' movies. I know a lot of people want to see the the uh, the adult violence. You know, just whatever's. But watch to, kids' movies. You might have to elaborate on that. Because when you when you tell society to watch kids' movies, mm-hmm. you know like you're speaking on a different dimension when you say that. Mm-hmm. It's it's, a, it's a innocence. Like the thing, the knowledge encoded behind watching child movies is not something everybody understands. Yeah, that is true. Okay, so you gotta break it down for them. Like, yeah, you a can't lot. Just say that. Like, yeah, watch kids' movies. Yeah, like, watch kids. What you movie. mean? I want to see some yeah. killing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it allows you to bring everybody. The present, the past, and the future is all one. Mm. We're just on a timeline. It's just somebody hitting the play button. Your inner child is still alive. Your future self is alive. And your present self is alive. We're just going through the timeline. So you can channel in that inner child who's still innocent and pure. You feel me? You want to channel that inner child within your everyday life. That's what joy comes from. Mm -hmm. When you're doing what you love, it's because that inner child already knew this is what I wanted to do. You feel me? Hit the play button mm-hmm. and watch what you want to do. Kids' movies help bring that inner child out. And mm-hmm. a lot of children movies, they hit adults nowadays because they exploit what we're becoming. <laughs> you know, Facts. like in the Winnie the Pooh, I ain't going to say what happened, but he was becoming something that he never wanted to, be- never wanted to become. Mm. And he was becoming it. And his friends, Winnie the Pooh, Pooh, Tigger, all them, them, they all called him out like, we don't recognize you because now you're something that you said you would never be and that we're fearful of. Mm -hmm. And he didn't even recognize it. Children movies exploit us as as adults Mm -hmm. at this age. And they make us realize we have to become what we're we're supposed to be as a child, you know, 
we have to understand bringing that innocence, that childlike behavior back is is fruitful for our being, you know. So the child walks around the world and they just see the world. Mm -hmm. Endless possibilities until you tell them you can't do this, you have to do this, until you res put restrictions on them. I still had the yeah. kid in me then, because you know mm -hmm. what? I'll say it's every other podcast. When I was out in L.A., I'm pretty sure all my people have heard this story a thousand times. Yeah. This guy named Wagon Man, he came to me and told me the same exact thing you told me. He was like, yeah. It's three people on you right now, something like that. But he, he said, it's that little boy that's trying to get out. Mm -hmm. Make sure you keep that little boy, let him free. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you keep that little boy alive. I was like, I'm like, you know, this back then, I wasn't really on that spiritual path yet. So I was like, okay. Yeah. 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 I was like, oh, okay. So he's like, I'm telling you, keep that kid alive and you keep him alive. Mm -hmm. It's society is trying to mash him down. And so he, he can stay locked up. It's up to you to free that little boy. Yeah. And I was like. It, it is. I and there's, there's, there's that quote that all in this is still said yeah. to this day. There's that little kid in you that's just trying to live his best life. Yeah. He just wants to be free. It, Let me out. You have, nah, bro. <laughs> man, you have you have to tap in it, but you also uh -huh. have to understand that. And I'm gonna go a little high with this, but you also have to understand that we're not human beings. We're spirits. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a battle between good and evil. It's not a battle between human man, human and mankind. Mm -hmm. It's literally a battle between good and evil. Mm-hmm. What you submit to is what you, that's what you stand by. Yeah, <laughs> it honestly is. For what, what you stand by is so important because yep. standing by the wrong thing can, it can distort your future. Oh, heck mm -hmm. yeah. Especially if it's not your authentic, what you want, you know. That's true. But what is that to people? Most people don't know. Exactly. And that's the problem. Know. Exactly. You know, they don't know what they, because they're, you're feeding into Yo, I'm telling you, they're hating on the kids. Ain't that crazy? They, they, they keep going, keep going, keep going. Um, they hating on... <laughs> they not hating on. They don't want you to become what you are supposed to become. Too many people are fabricated now. Oh. You feel me? Like, they become what society's norms are, what social media norms are, what their influences are. Because if Kanye said these shoes are the hot, are the best new thing, mm, everybody, everybody want to be Kanye. Everybody would get them. Everybody. But if I say that these other shoes, nobody listens until I become that name. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You have to be authentic in who you are. You don't have to fade into every fad that's hot. That's why That's why all these drugs are so popular now. X, Molly, um, all types of stuff. It's just because you want to fit in instead of being authentic. And that's the problem with just a lot of people in their being right now. They don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. Right, you don't know who you are, so you're not gonna go for anything. You don't even know what to go for anymore at this point in time, mm -hmm. until you just be like, "All right, bring that inner kid out." Like, mm -hmm. what did I like to do when I was young? You know, I, oh, I used to draw a lot. You know, sometimes you just gotta go back to those things. All right, I used to play kickball. And I was good as hell. Even if you ain't gonna be on no big team, it's just like right. just do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like we playing basketball. That's what I loved to do when I was yeah, a kid, yeah. and I just stopped because. And it makes you grow. Society mm -hmm. has has forced you to grow into being an adult when people really aren't oh, an early. adult. Yeah, early. early, real early. To me, there's no such thing as a true adult. No, you, it's not. That is so. It's a word. It's a word that has been given a meaning and we a meaning and we've just run with it. You gotta meet. You gotta meet the word adult at the median mm -hmm. because everybody's adult at some time, but everybody's still a kid all the time. All the time. And the funny thing, and this is this is so negative so prepare yourself what's up people use drugs to connect to their higher self mm -hmm. you know how you know how toxic that is yeah oh, very because i ain't gonna speak on it too much i'm gonna speak on it just i'm gonna speak on it just a little bit yeah drugs actually give you an, an, an illuminating picture that is seductive mm -hmm. so just because it looks like something that doesn't mean it is what it is. Mm -hmm. It gives you something and you go up and you go up and you go up. But once you come down, you're reminded of what that something was and it never leaves you. So now mm -hmm. you're confused about what was real and what was fake. Mm -hmm. It goes, mm -hmm. it goes behind Instagram. You keep up this Thanks. picture for a constant amount of time. So now that you've caught up this picture, now that you tried to keep this picture alive, when you try to put it down, you don't know how because you don't know what you can go back to. Mm -hmm. Lost in a sauce. 
That's true. And they just stirring that bowl up. Yeah, stirring it up. Yeah. Just stirring it's, it up. Yeah. it's getting caught up in the hype, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Get caught in the hype. That's what Drake was trying to tell us. But yeah, that's true. Like, <laughs> it's literally like making yourself a placebo. Oh, very much. I never thought about it from that point. Why, why would you want to make yourself a living placebo? I can't even tell you why, because I don't. A placebo? Yeah. But that's how that's how desperate, <laughs> we, that's how desperate <laughs> we are. Oh, shit. That, that don't sound fun, though. It's not. <laughs> it just sounds like it's restriction. It's it's degrading. Yeah. Shit, it sounds to, terrible. <laughs> it's degrading to death's degree. Like, we're killing ourselves trying to keep up an image. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was one of those people for the long, a long time. I'm not scared to admit it. Definitely on Instagram, man. Yes. Oh, shit, goodness. you know what I mean. Shit, yeah. you got to post certain. You gotta yeah, that, you got to look a certain way, act, act a certain way. You got to be hard around your homies. Yeah, it's 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 a fad you got to play. It is, and that's why I started doing vlogs. That actually, see, vlogging me personally actually helped free me in a way, help me mm. be me. And I know as weird as that sounds, but me recording myself and me going like how you say you go back and watch what you talk about. It actually helps grow you in a way because you it see that visual. You. It yeah. You. yeah, that's mm-hmm. what vlogging did to me. Oh my god! I go back and watch back. Like, wow, watch a video. That's a year ago. Yeah, watch yourself. Yeah, yeah. it's you're it's, your best teacher. It's captivating. It's so captivating when you watch yourself. Yeah, because it's like that's what I look like. Yeah. <laughs> you observing yourself like yeah. third person. Yep. Yeah. Dang, that's how I sound. Mm-hmm. It, it, it gives you the confidence that nobody else can give you. Yep. Make one act a fool even more. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Because you're comfortable now. Yeah, you, I am. Because yeah, now, I don't give, I walk around with a camera. I be doing my thing. I don't yeah. even yeah. Yeah. I mean, hey, yeah. Yeah. People look at me like, what? I'm like, fuck y'all anyways. Yeah. <laughs> I don't be caring. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It gives you revelation, man. Yeah. yeah. It gives you a yeah. great sense of revelation. Damn, and when you when you get that that yeah. when you get revelation about yourself, that's when you walk on purpose. Well, purpose, come on. <laughs> you already on doing it. it. I, I know. I, I tell, you know what? And I I know this stuff, but it be some days I wake up I'm like, damn, is this? Is, and all right, I contradict myself. I'm not scared to admit it. Like mm-hmm. I'm on this, of course, this path for spirituality, and everything. But I'm still human. I still some days wake up like, damn, is this read the path I'm supposed to be on? I'm on it for a reason, but. Is it gonna lead to lead me where, where I really want to be? You know mm-hmm. what I mean. Mm-hmm. And and that's to be the scariest thing sometimes when it comes to life, like how you don't know, yeah. but how you can feel that you're going in the right yeah. direction, but you don't know. It's like mm, fuck right. it. Right. I have that every day. I'm be real. I have that not every day, but every other every other week. Yeah. Yeah. And to deal with that, you it's just man. Don't you love uncertainty? Yeah, you gotta yeah, love you it got though. To. You just, yeah, you gotta you got get it. To. Cause you gonna keep on chasing it. It's yeah. like you know, you know you're doing something when you're uncertain, man. You're like, I don't know. You, you Fuck just it. know. Keep it going. Be here now. Y'all should read that book. Sounds like in the moment. It do sound in the moment. It, 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 it's, it's a very in the moment. Be living. here now. Be here now. It's a phenomenal. Who's book. it by? I don't. It's. I, I don't know. It's, I, yeah, actually, once you look that up, you're yeah. gonna say, "Be here now." Cause, I man, that's. That's why I'm on. I keep problem. on going because I love the uncertainty, but this is my problem I'm trying to now. block out that feeling. <laughs> this is my problem. What's now. up, bro? I can't figure out which book I'm going to finish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be hey, jumping books can myself. I'll be like, I'll read this. And like, yeah. I'll put the I'm going to get back to you yeah. later at another time in life, yeah. but I need this book right I now. This. <laughs> yeah, that's All right. how I be. I'm halfway what, done what, with this. Let me go on this one. It's hard. You can't focus on It's so many. Something oh different, and it gosh. depends how you feel too. Your books is all about how you feel to yeah, it in that, that moment. Present moment. Yep. Because I swear, some days I'm really effing with this book, and then yeah, I'm some like, days it's yep. like, all right, nah, I don't want to read that. Down, like, yeah. Yep. It's just your spirit is calling to whatever one at that point yep. in time. You I really believe listen. in that. Yeah. I just that's, go with it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a deep subject. Yeah. What's what up? does your spirit hunger for? Hmm. Adventure. I tell you, I know that off rip. Adventure. For, for me. It's energy. Like I, I get all of, I get all of my. How can I say this? I get all of my. I get all of my knowledge and wisdom from what my energy is giving off. Mm-hmm. Like I, I observe my energy to mm. the fullest. Like when I'm not feeling good, I don't fight it. Yeah, I yeah. stay I stay in it yeah. as long as I have to. You gotta you embrace gotta, it to, to yeah. understand. You're supposed to. It. And my mom called me extra for it. And the funny part about this, when I really think about her calling me extra for it, 
it just shows me how much you don't. Yeah. She's neglecting like if, herself. Yeah. They, not, yeah. they wasn't taught to embrace it back then, though. No. I don't know how we learned this. Hey, how did we become these beings? No, no, that's another topic. Sorry, so, no, yeah. that's that's self discovery. We weren't yeah. taught this. Like, even this point where we're at. Just, yeah, you know, our like, parents were doing this. I know, but it's just crazy. Like, what got us here though? We're, we're the indigo <laughs> tribe. We're the, we're the indigo. wanting more. Yeah, I think it's wanting more. Sheesh, I love it. I, I'm just always been curious though. You know what I mean? Because my parents like. They look like, whoa, this is the shit I do compared to what they do is two different things. Oh, it's, it's, and it scares them. Yeah, and so they be like, shit. what? You want to do what? <laughs> I get more when we start talking, they get so uncomfortable. Yeah, all they do. <laughs> you like, uh, like are you, it's, you are you okay? okay? It's, like it's, a, it's like it's an insult or something. Like, well, damn, mom, all I said was this. I'm just doing Real. something that's fun. <laughs> I'm your child. Man. Yeah, like, support me, please. I love our generation, man. It's oh, funny. Man. We all going through the same journey. We though. all are, man. It's just different storylines. Yep. Which it's so cool. hard. It's so hard for them to understand it, though. Like when you try to explain it, it's like pulling teeth from a baby. Not oh, trying to speak materialistic, but when we move them out to some big house somewhere with no, yeah, yeah, yeah. bank account set, yeah. and they're gonna be like, all right. I knew you. I knew you was gonna do it. I said it. I told all my friends you just today. Gotta, you yeah, they be posting pictures in a house. Oh, they yeah. just bought <laughs> a house. <laughs> 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 Hey you, man, you, you that's why I, uh, we know what's too. up. As long yeah, as we, we know what's up, yeah, we, they, we, we just gotta show. They want to see more physical. That's their generation. It's more. Yeah, yeah that's physical. all. They they need to see materialistic yeah. possessions. I got y'all. I, I got y'all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> document it. Yeah, put this. What's today's date? May first. May first, twenty nineteen. Yeah, mama, yeah. I'm gonna get it. Yep. Okay. The Damn right. Possible makes the impossible possible. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. mm-hmm. Walk by faith, not by, by sight. Literally. I got that on my, that's, on my arm. That'd be fun, though, man. It'd be fun and scary at the same time. Oh, it's very. <laughs> it's, it, like, it, it's, it's like a thrill. It's that, it, it's that roller coaster and you on it blindfolded. Yeah, Ooh, what's going to happen next? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just find just, out. Hey, like, you just got to go for the ride. Psalms 23. That's lit. That's lit. Yeah. But y'all, that's I'm so hungry good, as fuck right now. Yeah. So I, I got a final question for y'all. What's your goal for the week? That's my personal final question. What's keeping, y'all goal for the week? Keeping this energy right here. That's my goal. Keeping this energy right here. Mm. That's electrifying, man. It is. That's literally my goal. Keeping this energy right here. This is a good energy. For, yeah. for the rest for the, of the week, keeping this energy right yeah. here. Good goal. Like Great goal. It's going to be tough. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, okay. yeah, but, but yeah, you know, don't don't do no, have that mindset. Energy, this, this have it just it's we, gonna happen. You manifest it yep. once you spoke yeah. it. It's already yeah. happening. Yep. It's, yep. So you manifest it. I will welcome adversity, though. Yeah, I will welcome that. Hey, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I don't want to. Oh no, I'm not coming real. up on time. <laughs> I welcome it, man. Hey, come on. This was good, y'all. This was real good. Hey, what's your goal for the week, bro? My goal for this week is to complete. Another chapter of my book. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. About to gain um, a lot from that. Let me know when you finish that. Man. Yeah. Oh, definitely. You got to have another podcast. Yeah, man. it's called Fear Fest. It's, it's a children. Got a, another book? <laughs> <laughs> oh, your book, your yeah. personal. Oh, it's like, yeah. you read it. I thought you read another one. Yeah, oh, I, it's another one I want to, I, I just haven't started. I've written, I've written three of them just to some. Uh, Promote your stuff, bro. Uh-huh, I'm going to yeah. once it come out. Oh, best believe I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna sit it right here next yeah. uh, when it's done. Be like, just read this, y'all. But it's a book. I'm pushing it to become a a stop motion picture, like Coraline or Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm-hmm. It's for kids because I want to have an impact on that generation. Mm-hmm. That's something for Gotta me. Get them early. Gotta get them. Gotta get them. Yeah. Especially having a kid, you understand their mindset. And you understand, you want them to become everything, mm-hmm. not just something, everything that they set their mind to. And a lot of it is following your dreams. A lot of my stories are right, are about dreams. Mm-hmm. And it's completing them, following them. But Fear Fest, it's a little horror flick, but it's good messages. It's, mm-hmm. it's to eliminate fear from children. And it's about the boogeyman. Um, and he's the he's not the bad guy. He's not the the mm-hmm. bad one. He's the good guy to give a give him a new light. I feel like things that have such a bad light, you know, it's because we give them that light. We perceive it to be bad instead of thinking of it in a different way. You feel me? Mm. Like just you could say yeah. this stand right here is right. evil. 
and you only and he gonna say it's evil because you said it. Then right. the kids gonna say that stand is evil. <laughs> I know. They, yeah. It's just a trickle yeah, effect. Yeah. But if I give it a different name mm-hmm. and a different feel and a different look, mm-hmm. especially the children, mm-hmm. it could it doesn't have to be seen as fearful anymore. I know it could be doing. like a, a good a good thing. So, right. um, I ain't gonna tell the the story now. It's too much, but <laughs> it, it's. I want to have a catalyst on being able to eliminate fear to push them to become everything that they want to be. Mm-hmm. So my week's goal is to write another chapter of this book and to meditate and to find my own personal freedom. That's beautiful, bro. That's Quick question. Powerful. So you, the book's pretty much going to have them dive into fear, but view it in a different perspective because mm-hmm. fear is going to, it's natural, like, yeah. you know, yeah. but so I, I like that, bro. That's some deep shit. As I was saying, I was just re- abs- abs- absorbing it like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Sheesh. Yeah, oh, it's, everything comes to me through higher Man. self. Because every time a, a story comes to me, it literally just goes like that. That's going to be it, serious, it just, bro. It, it, it's the whole thing. It will be start to finish. I'll just have a quick overview of it, mm-hmm. but I have to fill it in after that point. But I know from start, middle, end. And that's so, how it, they all How come. many books do you have? It's going to be well. This is going to be my first, yeah, but I have yeah, three. Yeah. No, I have four others that I have to write. But cousins of mine, they want to. I told them about it, so they like let me write that for you. So they're really into Bro, it. But, get this book out here, man. Uh, I mean, don't rush the process. Oh but, no, I can't. Hey, I can't. get it out here at the same time. You know what I mean, to, man? Have to. Your effectiveness will come in your OB. Yeah, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah, oh, that's gonna be big, man. Yeah. I, I can already see that. Good looking, y'all. I appreciate Hell, that. Hell yeah, man. Stick it. to it. As I will. And what about you? What's your goal? My for this goal is simple, man. Keep doing daily vlogs. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's making me happy, making me more active, you know what I mean? Fuck yeah. it. Keep it going. And that's all I can really say for real, for real. Of course, you know, keep the energy going and everything. But my main focus is to keep these daily vlogs going. Yeah. Because that's how that's the reason why I came out last night. Well, I can vlog it while I'm there. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see you put coming out of retirement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you was yeah. out there too. I'm like, Justin Hoofing, like, yo. Yeah, it's been a while since back uh is that your backyard? That was your backyard. I'm That's like, what I was telling them. I'm like, I'm still fresh. I'm only a month in hooping. And I'm a one day in from two two years off. Yeah, like, the, I was like, three years. I'm like, this is new all over again. I'm, I'm still going to go ahead and put this out there. Go ahead, bro. A big time, a big time goal mm-hmm. should be for the three of us to host an event and talk to adults. Thank you. I can do we that. Sit, we sit at a table mm-hmm. on the stage. And adults give us questions and we answer them. Oh heck yeah! I'm and then we, and then we sit there that. and we teach, teach them, teach them. Here, 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 young gifted mind. That should be that should be a long term goal. You should write it. That should be a now goal when you think about it. Oh, I'm already working it through because you know what? It hit me. This is the best time to do it because we're young still mm-hmm. and, and we're at a respectable young. And we're not like 18 year olds. Yeah. Like, oh, they don't know shit the about it. Age. We're right in the middle. And middle they're searching age. for Woo! it too. They're yeah. looking for it. Yeah. And it'd be good for them to hear mayor. this, you yeah. know, to hear yeah. our, our mindsets. Because, you know, most parents don't even understand our mindsets. They think mm-hmm. we about booty kicking it, and it's like, no, we're having conversations that you all yeah. haven't even had yeah. yet, My parents know? finally hip. That's who was watching the live. Mm. They, they be watching it. That's how they get, they, they get, you know, catch up a little yeah, bit with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm already, I'm already working something through, so. Are you? But, oh, yeah. I've been, work, I've been working on this for... So I, I built the program. Oh, and I didn't tell you, but I built the program for the youth. Sweet. And understanding how to navigate through pain, mm-hmm. because that's that's what's killing us. Mm-hmm. It's pain. I wrote out a program, but I have, and I I, I show Justin. Yep, yep, I have yep. like eight different programs, mm-hmm. and I show you how to navigate. Right now, I wrote out the itinerary, but right now I'm writing out the guidebook. Sweet. So. What's happening is I show my church, and my church wants me to teach this in the church. Sweet. And what that branches off to is I'm going to end up traveling and teaching this. I'm about to say, that's going to just hit mm-hmm. on a mega oh, scale. Yeah. You're starting it already hit. with the church? Yeah. Amazing. Congratulations. And hey, that is yeah. big, though. I Congratulations. I just got into the school system, too. I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting on my paper, paperwork. Oh, you got yeah. to the school system, too? Yeah. Oh, Yeah. Especially, oh, that, that'll that take, like, wildfire Man. in school systems because they so. need that. Yeah. Like, kids, are, kids go through a lot. That, yeah, that should be a topic yeah. we talk about one day, too. We get it, Especially, man. We do this every Wednesday, bro. Oh, I'll come. All right, man. I'm here. 
So they don't have nobody to that. help them either. So it's just like yeah, we're the only ones who can help them. No, dead ass. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, like for real. Parents, it's it's parents, bad. It's, yeah, parents, yeah, it's different. Parents know so much, mm-hmm. but they don't even know how to use it. Oh yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like they're so wise, but when it comes to applying that knowledge to a teaching setting, they cannot. That is odd too. It's bad. Yeah, because that's how my mom is. She has so many books. She she's very knowledgeable, but it's Two until teams. you either go to her or you're looking for something or an argument or something, then she wanna throw it at you. <laughs> but it's never just like, Yeah, let me teach you this or yeah. you should yeah. read this. This book is talks about this, blah blah blah. She does in certain aspects, especially health wise, but then it'd be kind of like contradiction. You saying you got these health books, but you eating some pork ribs and bacon <laughs> yeah. with some eggs and some and whatever on the side. It's so. like we said, man. Most, and I'm starting to realize this, almost close to 50% of the knowledge that our parents have, it was handed down. It wasn't experience. Yeah. It yeah, was just handed right. down. You know, it wasn't experience. You're right. You yeah. can't teach something. We're the first experience. experiencers. Yeah. yeah. We just literally just we jump off the cliff kind of in a way. Well, jump off a plane. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. We're just like, all right, let's all right, see what happens. Right, yeah. <laughs> Pull what? What if you fall? What if you get hurt? <laughs> Fuck it. It's Dang. meant to happen. <laughs> we, we're so willing to take risks. <laughs> yeah, we are. We aren't as fear based. I watched that last like, year while I went skydiving. Like, I don't remember riding roller coasters, but yeah, well, I jumped I, off a plane. I want to do that so bad. You know what? That's why I've been feeling just so just whatever, you know, because after I did that, Right, freeing. I'm trying to break it down. It was freeing, man, because I can tell you a story behind it. When you fall in, you're just restricting, right? You're trying to restrict, you restrict. Then it hits you like, where are you restricting from? You're falling from the sky. Yeah, you, you can't just, even do anything. You yeah. just open up and talk about life. Will, let go and let flow. Will Smith said something like so so profound. Oh, you he saw was, that too? Yeah, he was like, yep. at the greatest point of fear is the minimal point of danger. Mm-hmm. Mm. For real. Mm. He said it's, it's just a blissful feeling. Yep. It Y'all should do it, man. I want to. I oh, trust Listen, me. I yeah, want to jump yeah. off the airplane. I've always wanted to. Like, <laughs> I'm like, that's just such an experience. Y'all be set for, uh, not set for life, but y'all, y'all uh, spiritual, I don't Where? know, something would be set in y'all. That's on that note. I don't know how it's going to affect everybody else. Where? But, huh? Where do you do this? I went to thing? Cincinnati. It's, it's something out here like 40 minutes out. Shoot, I'm out of here. You, you remember Aaron Reynolds? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, she beat cancer. Did she go skydiving? I yeah. saw her make the post about it. Yep. Wow. Yeah, she Shout beat, out to Aaron. She beat cancer, and yep. so to celebrate, she went skydiving. Yep, I saw that. I saw Man. that. She has a story as well, too. Oh, Aaron has an amazing story. We got to hit up Aaron. Actually, we should we should have some very switch up, too. You feel me? Have have some women speak. You That's know, what men doing. Yeah. yeah. We did that. Yeah. We, we did that two weeks in a row. last yeah. time. Yeah. It was... <laughs> You the conversation two is crazy when you involve a woman. Yeah, when you involve yeah, yeah, a woman, yeah. if you're holding the... My, my next Woo! two involve women. They're yep. both nurses. They're both psych nurses. So. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, man. Let's get it then. Well, I'm going to do the outro real quick. All y'all right. got to drop y'all any any social medias, anything y'all want to drop or whatever? Mine might be deleted soon, but <laughs> until then, freedom underscore captured. Um, Instagram and for Facebook. You don't even want to get on there because I ain't on there. Yeah, let's do it on Facebook. Uh, FTLT, man. On Facebook and on Instagram, it's FTLT underscore 2019 EST. That sounded very professional. Right. You came <laughs> on, you got close, he said. Like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Thank y'all for coming through today, man. Much appreciated, oh, as always. Of course, it's man. Pleasure, it's all man. peace and love this way. Hell yeah. You know, we have this every Wednesday, y'all. Oh, now I'm alive right now. Fuck you, Facebook. <laughs> 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 like, it took us off. But, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching or listening to Live's Journey Podcast, where we create, inspire, and spread greatness. We out of here. Pose with a picture. We good. All right.